Hi, <gasps> <gasps> chat. How are we? How are we doing, everyone? We doing good? We doing good? Having a good day? Having a good time? Having an absolute ball, if you will? Having an absolute ball and thrall and gall and... I don't know any other words. I don't know any... I don't know any other words. I've had four hours of sleep today. So... We're gonna be just chatting while also playing Unpacking in the background. So... I don't know if that's against... I don't know if that's against... I don't think so. I mean, because I am going to be chatting. The chatting is the main part of it, so... Oh, no, we'll see. <laughs> you know, 15 words max. You're right, I do. And all streaming is just finding a way to put those together. But also apart at the same time. Today, everyone, we are going to be finishing unpacking. We are going to be finishing unpacking today. Uh, maybe. I hope. I hope we're gonna be able to finish it. If not, uh -oh. but we should be able to. We should be able to. Thank you guys for all the follows as well. All the subs. All the everything. Means a lot. Um, the, the hype train as well. The level 12 golden, uh, whatever. If you subscribe, uh, okay, hold on. I'm gonna get through all the streamer stuff and then we'll start the game. Uh, if you subscribe for six months, if you do the six month thing, uh, Twitch doesn't make any money on it they i get i get a hundred percent of it so if you want to do that and you don't want to get ads all right if you want to be in it for the long haul you absolutely can you absolutely can why am i so large why am i so big on the screen there we go all right there we go um but yeah that's what we're gonna be doing today we're gonna be playing um what's we're gonna be playing um Unpacking. We're gonna be playing unpacking and it's gonna be great. I'm excited for it. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a fun time. I love unpacking. It's gonna be awesome. Ah, oh, the VTuber reflects the size of your ego. How much of an ego do you think that I have? Bro, I don't have I I I don't know if I do, honestly. How how <laughs> Yeah, the first the first word that comes to mind when I watch Rambu live streams is arrogant. <laughs> and just and just so so full of myself. It's true. I am. You have to be a little bit full of yourself in order to have a job where literally all of it is is just broadcasting yourself to a bunch of people. When you really when you really think about it like yeah, it is a little bit. It's literally, like, literally all that streaming and content creation is, is how can I make myself the most popular? That's what it is. That's what it is. Hold on, let me look at, let me, let me make sure that I have my, um, my activity feed for stream elements open so that I can actually see if people donate. Because I did, I did see that, but I want to say, I want to say thank you. Hold on. Uh, da 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 let me see, let me see. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I'm gnawing, I'm gnawing. Where is it? How can I see? Got it, there it is. Wonderful, 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 wonderful. Um very interesting very interesting i don't know if there was a 100 dollars donation because i can't see it this is very weird i don't know why i can't see it we shall see okay it was a hype chat oh don't do that no <laughs> don't do that no I, I mean okay i thank you i thank you but do not do that because there's a much better way of donating through the through the through the donation button. Through the donation button. There's a much there's a much better way of doing that. Do not and I'm not doing the streamer thing of like, oh guys, don't don't subscribe. Like seriously, it, all it does is just give Twitch a bunch of money when you could be pressing a different button and then actually having it show up on stream and then all of that. I thank you. It means a lot. 
that you're will that you would be willing to 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 give me that to give me that amount and everything they don't know it said what does this do you should not be spending a hundred dollars on a what does this do i'm gonna be real i <laughs> I don't think you should be spending a hundred dollars on a what should what does this thing do? I thank you. I thank you a lot. I hope that you're having a good day. Um, but there is a donation button on the stream and everything, which makes it a whole lot easier because a whole lot less goes to um goes to Twitch and everything. I'm so sorry. I hope that you're doing well. It means a lot. Thank you guys for level 14 golden golden kappa hype train brought to you by Twitch.tv. Like oh, thank you. I don't know. I'm becoming I'm, I'm gonna become branded content I think I think I'm gonna become I think I'm gonna become that's it that's all I'm gonna do I'm going to become um become become come on guys oh ha 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 grow up <laughs> 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 you first i don't have to my whimsy is what keeps it entertaining my 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 wonder and my and my uh and my other stuff is what keeps it entertaining all right my joyous my joyous frolicking all right what about our whimsy your whimsy is my whimsy i take all the whimsy and i put it in a little in a little box put it all in a tiny itty bitty box let's play unpacking <laughs> let's play unpacking <laughs> double standard double standard let us be whimsical maybe i'll consider it i'll consider it all right guys we're gonna be we're gonna be playing unpacking we're gonna be playing unpacking uh it's a game without unpacking why is subway surface playing <laughs> That's hilarious. I switched to I switched to the scene and just boom, subway surfers. Good morning everyone. Now you're alert during the Rambu stream. Now you're alert. All right? Now everyone's alert. Now everyone's alive. All right, everyone's here. And once again, the just chatting is going to be the main the main portion of this, which is why I'm keeping it on just chatting just so everyone's aware. I think. I think that's okay. As long as I'm talking, then it'll be good. All right? Because this is just background. This is just background. All right? This isn't the main focus. All right? I can... Okay, good. It did save my... It did save my... There we go. Are you sure Twitch won't get mad? I'm... I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty... I'm pretty sure. You're pretty? <sighs> Thank you. Okay. Um, let's see. Let me do this. Move here. Move there. That was like one of the most genuine screams I've like. What did that scream sound like? Hold on. I need, I need to listen to what that scream sounded like. Because like, I don't think I've ever sound. That was like a genuine scream. Hold on. That was like a very genuine scream. I need to. I need to look back at that. Give me a second. Hold on. <laughs> oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me find it. Um, I absolutely hate how the feature clips is all the way at the top. That doesn't make any sense. Okay. All right. Hold on. Let me. Okay. Hold on. Let me listen to myself. Where? Oh, I turned it. I turned myself down. Hold on. I'm pretty sure. Okay. Hold on. I'm pretty sure. Hold on. Okay. I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure. You're pretty. <sighs> Awesome. That was cool. That was good. <laughs> oh, my mic does this weird thing whenever I scream. It like it like it like has a weird like Ah. <sighs> All right, let's see. Let's see. Rumble look. Oh my god, look at the golden kappa. That's so Oh, why am I getting smaller? Why am I getting No. <laughs> Make me bigger. Make me bigger. What happened? What happened? Why am I small? Holy. 
Oh my god. The smallest, the smallest VTuber on the platform. We've done it, everyone. Hold on. Actually, no. We can go smaller. More! More! Alright, guys. Is this a good proportion? I think so. I think so. All right. The smallest, the smallest VTuber alive. You, you need a magnifying glass on the bottom right corner of your screen. <laughs> Make it smaller. I can't. I literally can't. All right. All right. right, right, right. All right. There we go. We're back. We're back. <laughs> go smaller. No. No. Not anymore. Not anymore. All right, let's do this thing. Unpacking, resume. All right, so we we did this one. Okay, so I think the storyline is we we like moved in with 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 someone. Turned out huge huge awful person made us put our our. I could have put the goddamn you know trophy award on top of the toilet, but they wouldn't let me. They wouldn't let me do it. They wouldn't let me do it. All right, they wouldn't let me do it at all. So that stinks. The category, I I should probably change the category just so people aren't annoying about it and they don't come in here and go, change the category. Because then I won't. So let's, let's change, I'll change the category. I'll change the category. It's okay. Unpacking. We're gonna be unpacking today. Any on, I'm gonna be unpacking. I remember the category. You do not understand. All right, let's do this thing. So yeah, so basically, uh, yeah, bad person, and then we're, we move back home, and now we go into the next one. It's 2013. Everything's about to go south, but not yet. All right, let's see what's going on. We got two bean bags. All right, hold on. We got two bean bags. We've got a bathroom. We've got a bedroom. We've got a desk room too, and a kitchen. And a living oh that's the same one. Okay, never mind. Never mind. There we go. Alright. Ah, yes. Pius. Ah yes. This uh ah book. Alright, um <laughs> Okay. Listen, all right, this is this is the this is the commentary that you're going to get with all this. All right, I'm going to put my books on this bookshelf. Oh my god, British, British thing, British thing, British thing. Everyone, everyone cheer for the British thing. Oh my god, that's awesome. Yes. Yeah, British thing. Whoa. Yes. Oh my god. Ah, book. Big book. Another big book. Another big Ah, oh, PP. Wait, does that say peep? Is that... Oh my god, it does. That's awesome. Yeah! Okay. That's another box down. That's another box down, just like that. Ah, okay. Let's wait, hold on. Let me... What's... Someone, someone said something. Hold on. What's happening here? My wife streamed this. You're copying my wife's content. I, I don't think I, I don't, I don't, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not copying, I'm not copying, I'm not copying your wife's content, all right, don't, do not worry, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, all right, okay, oh my god, we, it's Jover for you, it's barely just begun, oh we, oh we, oh we, we, oh we system, yeah, I love we, What's this? Video? Oh, video game. Yeah. Oh, another video game. Yeah. Oh, a third video game. Oh, I love video game. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Wait, how do I? Okay, we shelf. We shelf. Shelf for we. Hold on. Let's move these. Shelf for. Wait, can I not put these up like this? Wait, there we go. Okay, we shelf. Shelf for we. There we go. Okay. There we are. There we go. There we are. Yo, what the hell is this? Putting it there. There we go. That's incredible. What a what a guy. What a die. Look at that. Hey. What a persona. There it is. 
Ah, oh, there's another nerd book. Book for nerd. Heh. <laughs> book for, book for nerd. Nerd book. More nerd book. Oh my god. Oh. Check out all these nerd books. Oh my god. Look at all these. Look at all these nerd books. Oh, a nerd game and nerd, nerd, nerd DVD. God. Thank you, Witty, for the five tier ones. Thank you. Here at Thrombu Live, uh, we like to make fun of everyone. We're gonna put this photo book there. All right, there we go. Oh, big, what the hell? Big hamper. Well, that goes in the bathroom, right? I think that would go here. Yeah, sure. Um, okay. Oh, umbrella. Um, put the umbrella there. Ooh, a cane. Where would this go? Is there like a good place to store it? Like here? Not here. Can I like rotate it up? Put it in the bedroom. Put it, put it right here. Put it right there for now. All right, hold on. Okay. In the basket. Oh, I thought that was a laundry hamper. That looks like a laundry hamper. Baskets for umbrella. Oh my God. Wow. This is, this is really, this is, I don't know. There we go. All right, there's that. There we go. Lamp. Uh, I don't know where this goes. Hold on. Here. There we go. Okay. Pretty bed sheets. Yeah, that's 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 yeah. There we go. There we go. Okay. Uh, oh! Oh! Yes! 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 You go here. We had to. We had to. Oh, more. More, more, more. Don't be mean. I love nerds. I will be mean. I will be mean. I will. I'll do it. And you should take it. You should take it personally. Oh, little, little egg guy. I'm going to start being more mean. Actually. So how about that? Touche. Huh? Touche. There we go. There we are, there we are. Let's put this guy here as well. Circle of life. Evolutionary, evolutionary chain. Um, let's see. Oh my god. More of them. There we go, there we go. Okay, okay. Says so the one that actually tries to be a straight- Oh, how many are there? God damn! We got a whole- we got a whole army of them. Is there more? Oh my god! Jesus Christ. Okay, we're done. We're done with that. Okay, remote. Remote goes here. Uh, DVD. DVD goes here. Another DVD. Another DVD goes here. Another DVD. Another DVD goes here. There we go. Oh, you go. You wait. No, you go. Mm. Yeah, that's now that's all. Look at that. Mm. 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 That's good. That's good. There we go. All right. Oh, wonderful. Oh, absolutely wonderful. Absolutely beautiful. Ooh, speaker. Okay, there we go. Oh, big book. Big, big book. All right, there we go. Another big book. Oh, no. Put that big book there. And then what the hell is this? Oh, a little, little... Oh, yeah! When things... When things fit perfectly i get happy and that's another box done hold on what little hand can i like hang it up somewhere it looks yeah it does hold on put it right there there we go ukulele as well can i put this somewhere put that on the floor for now you know let's just like oh yes music stand there it is just join stream. Why is the table in between the bags? Why is that a confusing thing? Why is that a confusing thing? I'm I'm confused as to why that is. How, how what's going on? What's going on? I feel like I feel like for some reason today you guys are just or you, like there's a there's like a I don't know. There's, <laughs> I just want to make clear. You guys clicked the mature content warning. All right. To join this stream, most likely. Which means. 
that you should probably like be mature and i'm just i don't know i'm just seeing a lot of messages today that i'm just really really confused by i didn't i don't know why it doesn't show up developed frontal lobe i don't know why it doesn't show up sometimes i should probably turn it on send the warning again i'm gonna send the warning again because this this is a this is a sign this is a sign that we shall all be more mature i don't know what to i can't hold on what if i do this and then i do this there we go done well that did that work did that do it did that do it no huh why can't why can't i why can't i put that why can't i make it like that there's a warning in the corner oh oh so it has to be like outright in order for hmm nah whatever whatever just as a just as a thing though just as a thing though remember that there we go all right oh discs stack discs where's this okay this goes here oh tiny 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 little tiny little guys tiny little guys go here there we go there we are oh soy sauce soy sauce soy sauce goes here that's like parchment paper or something you go here rolling pin rolling pin here Ah, oh, cookie cutter cookie cutter there cookie cutter also there uh put it in the fridge do you put soy sauce in the fridge i've never had soy sauce like in it, like I've never like had it as like a a thing in like my house. I think I think it was in my you do? No? Do you? You do. Okay, well let's put it in the fridge then. I can't I can't put it in the fridge. So it's the game is the game is programmed, alright? It's not my fault. This is the way that the game is programmed. I don't even know what these are. Alright, the game the game is programmed this way. I can't some do, some don't. That makes sense. That makes sense. All right. Oh, okay. Big pot, big pot, big pot and pan. Hold on. Ah, oh, big pan. Bowl. Uh, let's put the bowls here. Another bowl. Oh, I love that sound. Hold on. I need to listen to that sound again. Yeah, this is good. Now this is now this is good. Hold on. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Um, let's see. Put that there. Wonderful. Put that there. Mm. Okay, put that. Oh, that chopping block there. Wonderful. What the hell is that? Is that a, oh, that's a fridge magnet. Yay. Okay. That was that was confusing to me, but then I realized. Oh, a little whiteboard too. I can write down all of my thoughts. Um, a little star too. Oh, lovely. Oh, a little three. A little equal sign. Star equals. Oh, wait, this is it's an escape room. Wait, koala equals three. Okay, so three koala. Let's look around for more koalas. Hold on. Let's see if there's any secret compartments with koala. God, I would love to just like... If it if it was like... If it would be viewed as like, haha, funny prank. And not like, you know, why are you trying to ruin my life? I would totally... Turn someone's house into escape room overnight. Or while they were away on vacation. Like I really, I, I would, I would do that in a heartbeat. Because I just think, how amazing would it be to watch someone, like, wake up in their household and just realize that they can't leave unless they solve my puzzles. Like, wouldn't that, ju wouldn't that just be awesome? Oh, they're mugs. Oh, that makes sense. That makes so much more sense. Hold on, mug drawer, mug drawer. Hold on. There we go. You told this already? I know, because it's an idea that I constantly have. I constantly have the idea in my mind of like, what if I was like, I was just like, it, it would be viewed as like funny joke. It'd be viewed as funny haha, -ha, you know? Like it would be, it would be viewed as like, it wouldn't be viewed as like, oh wow, you're like, you know, basically, you know, like forcing me to say inside of my own home, one equals three. Um, okay. Like, oh wait, plus, plus one. Um, all right, two plus two. Oh wait, hold on. Yes! I'm so smart. I'm so smart. 
I'm so smart. Oh my God. Oh my God. Um, I don't think you can do that. No, I know I can't do that. So it's just why I'm not going to do that. But it's like, if, if I lived in like an alternate reality per se, right? And it was, you know, socially acceptable to, you know, pull funny pranks on each other, then yeah, I would. I would do that. Cause I think it'd be funny. Or not funny, but I think it'd be interesting. You know, I think it'd be, I think it'd be very interesting to do. You know? This is why nobody will date you. That's the thing though, is that the the perfect the perfect person in my eyes has to be okay with me putting them in my puzzles from time to time. You know? The the perfect person in my eyes has to be okay with me, you know, putting them in my puzzles. Cuz you know, if 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 they're not okay with that, you know, are they really the one? I say no. I don't think so. Have standards, yes. That's gonna that's gonna be on my on my on my bio. Um alright, hold on, little star thing. Oh. Oh wow, that's a that's a full hold on. There we go. You want a lab rat? No! No, I wouldn't want a lab rat. It's not like I'd be like constantly experimenting on them. I would just like have to like sit them down and have to go like one day I will put you into an escape room while you are asleep. And you have to be okay with this. Otherwise, I don't think this is going to work out. Like, you know, you, you have to be chill with this. Otherwise, I don't, I don't know if this, I don't know if this will work. And they'll go, if, if they're, if they're, if they're really the, if they're really the one, then they'll go, yeah, sure. And I'm, and I'm, I'm honestly, I'm, this is not a stream, but I am being a hundred percent serious about this. Like, I think that'd be so, that'd be so awesome. That'd be so good. I'm being 100% serious about this. That sounds scary. It's not, it's not a scary thing. I wouldn't like, I wouldn't cause them any physical harm. You know, I wouldn't cause them any physical harm. I want to put this on the table. You know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to cause them any physical harm. It would literally just be like, you know, like, you just gotta be ready to be, you just gotta be ready for my puzzles. You gotta be ready for my puzzles. Psychological harm, that's exactly why I'm gonna like tell them. That's exactly why I'm gonna tell them just in case. I'm gonna sit them down so that they're emotionally prepared for it. You know? I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit them down so that they're emotionally prepared for it. So I'm gonna be like, hey, one day you will be a part of my puzzles. And you're not gonna, you're not gonna be put in any harm. All right, no harm will come to you. But I am gonna. Uh, but you will be. You will be experimented on. Not really like experimented on though. Like because I'm not really doing an experiment. I'm just more. I'm just more doing like a like a. Not really an experiment. It's not. It's not really an experiment. I wouldn't. I wouldn't call it an experiment. More. More so. I would say it's more like a. Um, I don't know. It's just like it's just like a fun bit. It's like a fun little. Because you know they're gonna like at the end of the day they're gonna laugh. They're gonna go. Oh, that was so much fun. You know that was such a great time. You know, I love, I love puzzles. Cause you know, the one, the one is gonna have to love puzzles as well. I'll, I'll, I'll like sit them, I don't know, I'll like, I wouldn't like just randomly drop this on them. I would like, I would like legitimately sit them down and I'll be like, I have the want to give you my puzzles. And this doesn't happen with just anyone, all right? This is a very important thing. This is a very important task, all right? And if you're not okay with that, then I'm sorry, but this just isn't going to work out. All right, the one will understand. All right, the one will the one will understand. They will they will get it. And they'll go, hell yeah. They'll go hell yeah. You know, communication is important. Exactly, exactly, it is important. Which is which is why, like again, I'm gonna be open about it. I'm gonna say, hey. You, you're pretty hot. I want to put you in my puzzles. <laughs> you know, that's going to be my pickup line. <laughs> you're very attractive to me. I want to put you into my puzzle. And they, and they would go, they would swoon. They would swoon. They would go, absolutely. 100%. I think it'd work. Hey, listen, I, I, 
I think that it would work, all right? I think that you guys are being too critical of me, all right? I think you guys are being way too critical. I'm gonna be honest. I feel, I feel like it would work very well, all right? Questionable. <laughs> if someone did that to you, how would you feel? Oh my God. If someone legitimately came up to me and said, I want to put you in my experiments, I'd be over the moon. I'd be, I'd be down on one knee instantly. You know? Like that, that, like it would, it would, it would be the, it would be the one. There we go. Scientists would love you. I'm like the opposite of those ads where it's like scientists hate this person. <laughs> scientists, scientists love Rambu Live. Easily, ex e easily experimentable. <laughs> <laughs> oh, big painting. There we go. There we are. Oh, look at this. Beautiful. Absolutely. Wait. There. Okay, there we go. You're the world's most willing test subject. If the puzzles are cool, hell yeah. I don't care. But put me in it. That's the thing. Like, God. I think that'd be, I think it'd be so much fun. I think that'd actually be so much fun. Yeah, no, I'd, I'd swoon. I'd swoon. I'd do it. I get down. I get. I. I would instantly. I would instantly get down on one knee, and then I would propose. <laughs> um. All right. So then we got the two whales. There we go. Uh, lava lamp. And then, oh, printer, big printer, big printer. This is sick. Wait, which way is front? This is front. There we go. There we go. Okay, and then this is, that connects to that, I think. Oh, bundle of, bundle of wires, bundle of wires right there. Hold on, let's put the bundle of wires here. That's the back? Is that the back? No, because this doesn't look like, no, because my buttons. No, buttons and the thing. Buttons and the thing. Look. Buttons in the thing. Turn on the lava lamp? How? Oh. Whoa. It's glowing. Um, okay, little little business cards too. There we go. That is the front. Yeah, I'm right. Oh, router. We need to install the router. Hold on. Put the router there. Uh oh, a little clock as well. So I can always see what time it is. That's what clocks are for. I've got such good commentary. Oh, I can I can hang up my achievement. Yay. Alright, put that there. More lighting, put that underneath the desk. Oh, I can put stuff in here as well, that's good. Um, let's put some of the art supplies in here as well. There we go. There we are, wonderful. Little headphones here. Oh, this is, this is going so well. How many lamps does one person need? Listen, sometimes you just need good lighting. The lamp in front of the lamp. Double lighting. There we are. Wait, let's put that there. Uh, what's this? This is a book. Nice, okay. Whoa! Hold on. Do I have a little painting to go along with it, or no? God, I'm so organized. Uh, how do I... Okay, hold on, let's put these... Mmm! That's wonderful. That's absolutely wonderful. A uh, little ball. little ball thing. And then a towel. This isn't where a towel goes. Towel goes here. Wait. There. It goes there. There we go. All right. Another towel. And a uh, hairbrush. There. Hair straightener. There. Uh. Oh, pads. Uh, here. Pills? Here. Those look like pills. Um. Razor. There. Little bottle of honey. Little bottle of honey. No, that's because I thought that this was a pill. But then this was a pill too. I don't know. Hang the towels up. Never. Hold on. Uh, no, we'll put big. Hold on. Little towel here. Big towel here. There we go. Wonderful. Um, toothbrush there. Toothpaste there. 
Little, little cup. Little cup for the... Oh, little cup for the stuff. Hold on. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. All right. And then there we go. Oh, toilet paper there. Wonderful. Put the little bag. Put the little bag here for easy access. Another toilet paper. Put that there. Another toilet paper. Put that there. Uh, a scale. Put that away, honestly. There we go. Um, there we go. Put this there. There we go. I ran out of, ran out of space in the damn drawer. Okay, we'll put that there. There we are. Um, okay. There we go. Wait, hold on. Let me move this. Put that there. Put this here. Okay. And mouthwash in the shower goes crazy sometimes, though. Um, put that there. Put that there. Little trash basket right there. Little thing right there. And oh, I ran out of space. Yeah, never mind. Mouthwash. No more mouthwash in the shower. I know. I'm sorry, guys. I know you were looking forward to it. Um. Ooh, back pain. Why are you having back pain? I'll put that. I'll put that there. Um. Back pain. Little little tiny among us. Um. More pills. Well, I need to put some of these. I need to put, start putting these in the drawers. Um, okay, that's where that goes. First aid kit right there, just in case. Little band-aids go in here. Little, little tiny, little babe. Oh, little, oh, little tiny. Okay, uh, put the nail clippers here. I'm just, <laughs> this is great. Click on the mirror. <clears throat> oh my God, this has just changed everything. Oh my God. Oh my god, this is just this has just absolutely changed everything. You have no idea. Bug spray here. And look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Mmm. Mmm. Look at that. Are we done? I think we're oh no. The bed oh the bedroom! How could I forget the bedroom? Okay. Here we go. You go here. You go here. You go, notebook goes where? Wait, no, notebook, let's go, let's put, it's, it's the, it's the journal, it goes in here. Uh, you go here. You go. <laughs> Open up the damn door! Hold on, okay, there we go. You can drink it? I don't even know what that means. The counter's so full. Do, am I the, am I the yellow hat man from Curious George? What the hell is this? What on earth is this? Oh my god. <clears throat> Literally, it just, yeah, no, it just straight up is. Look at that. Wow. This is the lore that everyone was talking about. It's pajamas? That doesn't make it any less Hat Man from Curious George. All right? Uh, just because, just because it's, you know, pajamas. You know, do you think that the guy in the hat didn't sleep? Huh? If I've got if I've got full full yellow pajamas, all right, then I've reached a point in my life of maybe no return. But honestly, I may be happy. So just kind of let me live. Let me live my life. Oh, this is a this is a uh, hot bag. It's a hot bag. I thought it was like a. It looked like a, it looked like a um. It's like one of those like heating heating bags that you that you fill up with water and then you heat up the water. There we go. I used to use these all the time. There we go. There we go. Absolutely wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. It looked like a sweater. But come on, you can't blame me. It does it does kind of look like a sweater. Hot bag. What? It, that's what it is. That's what it is. It's a bag for heat. It's a heating bag. There we go. Well, actually, no. I should do... Wait, no. Do this so that I can look at it. Do that so that I can... Oh, wait. Put that there on the windowsill. There we go. Wonderful. It's not a bag, though? Yeah, it is. Literally, literally is a bag. All right. All right. Hold on. Oh, wait. This goes in here. Oh, that's cool. I like that. I like that a lot. Tiny candle. More candles. Oh my god, why do I have so many candles? Oh my god. Okay, hold on. Wonderful. Oh, penis! Sorry! Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> that, 
That was like instantaneous. That was like neuron activation. My demons came out, sorry. <laughs> um, okay, let's put that, wait, there, wonderful. Okay, hold on. Put that there. Uh, put that there. Wonderful. Oh, my phone's falling. There we go. Uh, oh, look, a nice little dress. Oh, what's this? This is a yoga mat. Put the yoga mat underneath. I remember that. I remember that. We put the yoga mat underneath and then dress there. There we go. Another boob prison. Another one. Hooray. Okay. Oh, little pig. Little pig. There we are. Uh, okay. Put that there too. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm, I'm going at it. Look at this unpacking. That's cute. Um. Hold on. Okay. There we go. Put that there too. Put these pants right here. Put this right here. Maybe put some more pants up here too. There we are. Wonderful. And we're good. And here's another one. Oh, a sneaker. Another shoe. I don't like it when it goes quiet. It scares me when it goes quiet. It makes me, it makes me anxious. Like what's going, oh my God, I'm a nerd. I'm a nerd. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Sorry guys. My, 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 my bad, my bad. No, no, don't worry, guys. Don't worry, guys. I'm supportive of everyone's interests. Unless they're lame as hell. No, okay, okay, I'm sorry. I... <laughs> okay. Uh, what was... Oh, my God. I thought that was like a particle for a second. I almost lost my mind. They've hacked into my game. There we go. Oh, this is going to be great if this, like, all matches the thing. Uh, let's start... Let's start, like, putting pants in here and stuff. I feel like we have to start... I don't know. I feel like we have to start, you know, being being better, doing better. Oh, purple pants. I love purple pants. I wish that I had a pair of purple pants. I do have a pair of purple pants. Oh my God. I just remember that I have a pair of purple pants and they're awesome and I love them. There we go. Nice. What's wrong in the bathroom? What? Oh, this goes here, I'm assuming. And then this goes here. Okay, that's fixed. What's wrong here? Oh, this. What? Where? There? What? What? Here? Oh, it just goes on a shelf. Okay. What's wrong here? What? What do you mean I can't put the knife right there? Ah, oh, that's so stupid. That's so dumb. Why can't I put the knife there? Let me, let me put my knives wherever I damn please. All right. Put that there. All right, and then we'll put the knife. Put the knife here. And then I guess we'll just put the paper towels up here too. God. Okay. Yay! We did it. Oh, I got the phoenix. I don't know what that means. Oh, because I'm rising from the ashes. Making this my art space. Hooray. 2015. Hooray! Plants. Lots of plants. There we go. More plants. Okay, here we go. What's this? This goes here. All. Ooh. Fancy. Uh, and there we go. Put that there. Bam. So many books. So many books. Guys, shh. I mean, I, I I know. I mean, I've seen I've seen the. Do you guys do you, do you guys want the clip though? Do you guys want the clip though? I I mean, I already I already know. Like, do you guys here? Do you guys want the clip here? Hold on, I'll give you guys the clip. 
I'll give you guys the clip. Wait. Wait, oh, what's going on? Did I just get like a really big like Amazon package or something? Why are there, why are there, why are there so many things? Oh wait, this doesn't make, oh, this doesn't make any sense. Wait. Oh, I'm so confused. Wait, oh. Did I just order a bunch of stuff from Amazon? Is this like my old stuff from my house? What? Oh. Wait, hold on. Hold on, give me. I'm, this is really, I'm really like, I'm really thinking about this. Like, I'm so, I'm, oh, I'm so confused. Like, oh, wow. Like, what's going on? Another laptop. Wait, but I, but I already have one of those. Wait, why would I, why would I need another laptop? Oh, this doesn't make any sense. This, oh, this isn't. I don't know what's going on. Wait, why are there, why are there, why are the boxes in my bedroom? Wait, I, oh, I'm so, conf I'm so, conf I'm so confused. I don't, I don't get what's, oh, guys. Guys, I, I don't, guys, I don't know what's going on. Hold on. What's going, what's going, what's going on here? Like, oh, there's things, there's stuff in here too. Maybe, maybe, maybe there's something in the bathroom that I can, that I can figure out. Wait a second, more supplies, but I already, I already have these. Chat, what's going on? What's guys, what's guys, what's happening? A swarm of ants is moving it. No, that can't, that can't be it. It can't be, it can't be, it can't be that. Well, guys, I'm so confused. Why is there, why is there more, guys, more makeup? I, I don't, I don't know what's going on. Wait, but I already... Oh wait, but I already have one. Why, why do I need another? Oh wait, I'm so confused. What? Well, huh? Whoa! A girlfriend. Oh! Oh! I get it! I was so confused for so long! Whoa! There it is. There it is, everyone. No, I'm kidding. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's sweet. It's sweet. It's very sweet. I'm sorry. It's that I, I didn't want to I didn't want to like I didn't want to like fake the reaction and everything because I already knew Because I because I would feel I would feel bad so I just thought might as well you figured it out. I figured it out guys. Oh my god I figured out that that wow There are gay people this is incredible he <laughs> figured it out. <laughs> oh man. Uh, wonderful, wonderful. Okay, let me let's unpack. Let's unpack then. It's very sweet. It is a very sweet story. I like it a lot. Because sometimes, sometimes that just that just happens. There we go. Put that there. There we go. Wonderful. And by that, I mean like not being happy with someone and then finding happiness with someone else that you might not expect sometimes gay people happen that's not what i meant <laughs> that is so <laughs> well guys you know as a famous ally guys gay people are real yeah yeah isn't that, isn't that cool of me to say? <laughs> Guys, isn't that... Isn't that so awesome of me for saying that? You know, basic human decency should be given. All right? Yeah, and I know. I know it might be a hot take. All right? But I think that people, especially gay people should be treated well. Sorry, that was my crowd of people that I have, you know, uh, cheering for me. Yeah. Yeah. 
And guess what? It's not going to just stop there. Gay. And there you have it. The state of uh, the state of 2021 streaming. <laughs> it was so funny. It was so it, I cannot like it's it's it, it makes it makes it obviously it makes sense, but I just find it very, very funny that like as you know, as as a, as a queer person, I was just like, like people, people would people would donate to me being like, hey, can you say gay rights? Because if you don't, then I think you'll then I think you'll just be extremely homophobic instantly. And I would be I would be like shaking in my boots I'd be like, yeah. Because I didn't want to out myself. Which is which is hilarious. Because if I got if I got too excited about gay rights, alright, then people will know something's up. Alright. People people would people would people would figure it people would figure it out. Alright. I wasn't ready. Pillows. I like these pillows. They're cool. Big rug. Oh. I love that. A little watering can. There we go. <laughs> Heck yeah. <laughs> Heck yeah, guys. <laughs> oh my god. So, that's so funny. They made it awesome. This game is very sweet. I really like it. It's very cool. Where's the dragon book go? I'm going to put it right there. I'll reorganize it more. <laughs> yeah, I would I would say it and then it would then there'd be like, you know, 1200 clips from like, you know, uh I don't know. Uh, there, there may be like twelve clips from like, like Ram, Rambu, Rambu, estranged aunt. That would be like the, the most like clickbaity thing, and it would like be me with big gay text in the in the thumbnail. Because they they love they love they they love it when they can clickbait whatever they want, and it, they will they will never stop little orange slice oh they're little coasters yay <laughs> rambu live comes out about this god we need more we need more good clips channels god damn god i cannot i cannot have my reputation you know be like you know big big swearing text from the channel like fingers <laughs> fingers up my ass steve or something you know, we cannot, we cannot have that be that. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't know. That's how stupid the, the, the channel names are sometimes. To be fair though, that would actually be genuinely such a good name for a clip channel. <laughs> That'd be a hilarious name for a clip channel unironically. No, it wouldn't. <laughs> to be fair, though, to be like to be to be like completely completely honest, though, I I think that I I really I that's it's the reason why we started the Rambu like we started the Rambu was live channel is because on YouTube there is a very big uh, presence, let's say that very big presence that um you know kind of kind of paints the streams in a in a light that I'm just like, I don't want the streams to, I don't want that to be the reputation. So we so we made Rambu was live and everything to allow people to find clips that are, you know, actually funny and actually have good titles, you know, and everything. You know, as funny as, as funny as they can be. So that is, that is the reason. That is the reason. And if you, again, if you want to, if you, if you want to, you have my permission to make your own, make your own clips channels, do your own stuff. 
all right the more the more media out there the better you know as long as it's respectful god damn as long as it doesn't you know show like just like the most like clickbaity thing to try to cater towards you know just bleh, you know be smart about it and if you're one of those people that are watching right now that run one of those channels i hope that you're happy with yourself I hope that you lie awake at night and you and you and you think I did a good thing. I did a good thing clickbaiting, you know, someone that is maybe even closeted into in putting big and putting big text that could potentially put them in danger if they weren't if they weren't in a good in if they weren't in a good position. I hope that you weigh awake at night and I hope that you're happy with that. And I and I hope that you're I hope that I hope that you're extremely happy with the potential with making thumbnails and making titles that potentially, you know, sexualize, you know, content creators when they were like goddamn seventeen. I hope that you were happy with that. Because you got those views, huh? You got those views and those were worth it, yeah? Right? seeing that number go up wasn't that wasn't that a good feeling hmm anyway to the good clip channels eee. love you um there we go there we go all right <laughs> the fact that the music stopped is crazy um <laughs> the fact that the music stopped is actually hilarious ah oh, yes turn it on turn it on turn it on turn on the stove oh yeah i know it's a very let's center this wait put it back wait actually there we go um yeah i don't know i just i i i, I hope i hope that you know the rambu was live channel is able to help just help just help at least a little bit with like the massive amounts of just crap that still that still exists there because my god all right hold on let's move this move this over here there we go move that there can i move this here wait no i need to like move this here and then move that there and then move this like like here i don't even know the flowers a magnet oh that makes sense that makes sense there we go. They're gonna clip it and be like, Rambu hates their fan accounts. <laughs> to be fair, that's kind of like just a self call out at that point. That's a, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's just a self call out at that point. If you clip, if you clip that and go like, Rambu Live hates the fan accounts, like, you, I'm talking about you. How, how self unaware can you be? It's hilarious. <laughs> you talking about you god damn i i i don't know i don't get it i mean at, 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 at the same point i get it people want people want money people want you know like fame people want to see you know people want to be associated with like you know big big things and everything but then at the same time it's just like at what cost you know like i don't know at what cost there we go, there we go, there we go. Ah, poop emoji, yes. Um, yeah. That's why I do stuff that doesn't give me money. It's completely okay. No, that's the thing. It is completely okay to make monetized clips channels of me. I am completely down. If, if, if making a clips channel of me helps someone like pay for their college through my content or something, right? As long as it's respectful, as long as it does so in a right way, like, you just des you deserve to have that you know you deserve you deserve to have that like that's the thing you have that like it, like if you do so in a good way you deserve to have that you know because of the fact that you're literally by by doing that you are essentially just giving me like free advertising and everything so you deserve to have that little bit you know i don't know how to run youtube channels you don't have to know all you have to know is just like like upload upload clip make funny title of it maybe make a thumbnail if you want to you know upload it as a short upload it as a short video you don't you don't have to know no one knows what they're doing on youtube it's all theory 
that's the thing maybe there are some things that are slightly true but it's it's genuinely all theory so again you guys have my explicit permission to make clips channels to make all those as long as you guys are respectful about them and as long as you guys are also showing what sort of the modern content is you know as long as you guys are showing what the modern content is you've got my complete permission to do that it, do you have my permission to completely just re-upload stuff that i'm making no obviously not because that's just stealing but if you you know make your own compilations put your own spin on it you know transform it you can absolutely you can absolutely do that all right yay okay um but yeah no absolutely that's the thing is that like i i like it, i feel like because of the fact though because of like the bad rap that a lot of clips channels have had i feel like i have to make that clear you know because it, it makes it it makes more people want to watch the streams which means you know more like more people outside as well as it you know could potentially have people be able to like help pay for their college help pay for their like funds and everything and like the fact that the content that i make is even able to remotely do that is incredible right so that's why that's why again absolutely a hundred percent you have my permission again as long as it's just respectful and as long as you're not like doing like really stupid stuff you know and you're also responsible with the platform that you may or may not gain because of it that's a that's a very important thing all right you gotta be you gotta be found a place for every plant yes like as long as you're as long as you're responsible with that you're not doing stupid stuff and you're and you're showing you know like you're you're being a good example then yeah absolutely do make make cool things you know i love seeing it there we go there we go pants or pants wonderful oh 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 yay oh big boots yeah i got a human for that but yeah no that's one that's one that's yeah that's that's my that's my two cents on the whole thing yeah i need one of these oh my god i need one of these turn the music back on music down a bit yeah of course there we go i need one of these now oh my god i need i need these boots there we go um let me see i need to put these shoes in the right place as well hold on there we go put that there put that there wonderful okay um yeah i don't know i feel like again just because of the amount of bad clips channels that have been that there have been i feel like clips channels just get a bad rap in general so i wanted to say that just to say you absolutely can you absolutely 100 percent can there we go there we go put that I don't, I don't know why it's so quiet i don't like how it's so quiet it's too quiet almost Hey guys, how's it going? How are we? Ha ah, yay! <laughs> oh, music! Hooray! Uh, where'd my other shoe go? My other shoe is gone. Look at this. I only have, only have one of these shoes. Huh? Okay. Uh, can I put that like somewhere cool or do, okay I just have to put it there can I put this oh wonderful oh wonderful that's absolutely wonderful there we go there we go there we go there we go can we sell our fan art at like conventions and things yeah why not I've been thinking about that for a while and I feel like yeah you can I've already I've already seen it a bunch and honestly it's like again as long as it's you know like cool i don't mind yeah you can you can yeah there we go bow, 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 bow. and as long as you're valuing it correctly as well remember that as long as it's cool no but like you know what i mean um as long as you're valuing it correctly as well i swear to god if anyone scams people with you know that i will i will lose it so please do not all right no but also know your worth don't undervalue yourself all right, because that's a that's a very common thing with artists as well. But goddamn. Um. 
Like I will I will see that. I will see that all the time. There we go. There we go. Oh darn. I need to do hold on. Let's move these here. There we go. There we are. There we are. No stealing art to sell it either. Yeah, that was my one concern about saying that I'm okay with that. So yeah, don't like it's that's again, that's my that's been my one concern has been people will upload it onto like a shop and everything, not knowing that if it does well, then it will just get yoinked and then re-upload it onto other places. You know? So just be be very, very wary about where you're buying from with anything, you know. Alright. Just be just be 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 smart about that. Because yeesh. All right, hold on. I need to move. Let's move these up here. There we go. And then we'll move these up here. Wonderful. Some people steal fan art and put it on clothes. Yeah, it's a it's a big thing. Yeah. Again, again, I have the I've always had the mindset of if someone, if my content right, my content has been able to make, you know, like the, the like the rest of my life, like just I, I I'm so grateful for it. And if the love and the support that the community has can help make another person's life a little bit easier as well, you know, can help them pay for college, can help them like, you know, put themselves like into like a better spot, um, like either emotionally, financially, whatever, then absolutely. Like, I, I feel like it'd be weird for me to say, for me to say like, no, I want 100% of all the money that is made on the Rambu Live Band to be made out. Like, no, of course not. I don't know. What, what is this? I don't know what this is. Yeah, I don't know. That's just that's just always been a thing of mine. What is this? Incense burner. Oh, cool. There we go. There we go. Are you cool with cosplays of a VTuber? Uh, yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah. There we go. Literally, again, like it, like. I I I feel like I'm I feel like I'm very very relaxed as opposed to like you know. A couple years ago. I'm going to be honest. Like, I'm not like... I don't know. I'm, I'm way more relaxed when it comes to a lot than a couple of years ago and everything. You know, we can tell. <laughs> but yeah, so it's it's like, again, have have self-sense. All right? Have have self-reflection. That's a, that's a huge thing as well, because I know that when I say like, hey, if I have a problem with something, I'll, I'll like talk about everything. But at a certain point, you also have to have self-reflection, right? And you also have to like remember, like, e like even if you think that something doesn't like apply to you, if someone's saying it, then hear, hear them out. Listen. All right. That's very that's very, very important is to just always, always kind of listen, because if you're not willing to listen to any kind of criticism, such as was me with my content like a while back, then you're not really willing to make any personal growth either. You know? So that's that's the thing. Like, just... I don't know. Like, have common sense. I will say if something... I will say if there is something that is, like, common with a lot of people, right? That I'm like, okay, I don't like where this is going. I will say that. But I will not have to say like if, if there's like a if there's like a one-off thing i'm not gonna like have to make and you shouldn't like have to make like just a huge like massive like up uproar over it as well you know i should i shouldn't have to do that because that's just not what a lot of content creators do in the first place for a very good reason because it's stressful as hell so yeah oh walkie talkie they have matching walkie talkies that's adorable um that's actually great i would totally do that there we go. We found the missing shoe. I know. He needs to chill too. Yeah, exactly. Like I'm, I'm, dude. I'm literally putting underwear in a drawer right now. All right, my content is not that serious. <laughs> like, go, like, come on. There we go. There we go. Wonderful. Ooh, damn, big coat. Uh, let's put all these like right here. Let's put all these in this drawer, actually. Wonderful. And then we'll put big coat here. There we are. Oh, uh, I should probably put the shoes somewhere then. I should probably put, I should probably move these two things up here. There we go. There we are. Wonderful. Beautiful. This is the most serious thing ever. This is a serious stream. 
Yeah. Are you gonna keep growing out your hair? Probably. I think I think I am gonna get it styled soon though. Maybe what time what how many days do we have before I leave for Baltimore? I might I might get it I might get it like cut like trimmed a bit and like styled a bit, but I don't know. I have to figure out what type of cut I want though. That's the thing. Because I I just have like a like a I have just a bunch. And I just have to figure out what the hell I want to do with it. That's that's the only that's the main thing. Like that's that's the main thing with it. I have to figure that out. It's getting shaved. No. No, I don't think, dude, if I I don't it would be a bad idea for so many reasons if I went bald. For so many reasons. There we go, there we go. Uh, let me put these in here. Wolf cut? I don't know. We'll see. I'll like I'll like look through a bunch. I'll just kinda I'll just kinda see. There we go, there we go. <laughs> there we are, there we are. Okay, wait, how do Yes, more in here. More pants. Oh please tell me that they put the perfect amount again. I'm gonna be so happy. <gasps> Yes! Oh my god. What? There's so much that's wrong. Oh my god. Wait, okay, this is oh, this is the instance for the instance burner. Okay, and then this laptop will go here then. These boots, where do these boots go then? These boots go here? Oh, I guess they go here. Okay, oh, I don't want to do that. Hold on. There we go, there we go. Also, if I finish this game earlier than I expect, I am just gonna be talking afterwards. So if you guys want to see me talk, then then Stick around, because it's going to get wild. It's going to get absolutely wacky in here. All right. Um, Can I put like these? Where, where do I put these? I genuinely like, I have no idea where the hell to put these. Wait, this is a, no, that's a, can I put this here? It's fine. Okay, I can. So I put the lap, there we go. Okay, this room is good. This room is good. What's wrong with this room? Nothing. I got the bathroom right. Hooray. Wait, actually. Hey, no, we're good. You know. Oh, flower pit pot here. Wait, is this a poster? Oh, it's a poster. Got it. I thought it was just like a random, like, I don't know. I don't know what I thought it was. Wait, is this go here? You just go in here? Hey, we've organized. We've organized. Hooray. Hooray. Yeah. Yep, organized. All right. So glad for all that wardrobe space now. Yay! We got love. Oh, there is more. Yay! Okay, good. I thought that was the last one. Oh, I'm so happy that there's more. Oh my god, I was actually so worried. Oh, I'm so happy that there's more. Okay, we're good. Ray. Okay, we're good. I hope it worked out between them. All right. Damn. Damn. Maybe. Either that. Or, you know, gay people and their pets. All right. I wouldn't be surprised if this was for a cat. All right. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm gonna be real. Would it would not would not shock me at all if that was for a cat. Okay, there we go. Put the little boots there. <laughs> you have a child? No. I know I know what I'm oh 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 there's the cats. See? There's the cats. Um no, but I've been thinking about that. And I was just like I I I think I've I think I've always been like open about this for some odd reason but i don't know why but i have always been open about it where it's like i think i will adopt like that's the way that i'm gonna go um just because of the fact that like again like I, again i've talked about this many many times before so this is probably you know to 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 average viewers you already know what i'm about to say but it's like the way that the adoption system kind of works especially in america really really sucks when it comes to the mental health especially for the um, children that are being adopted. So any chance to take, you know, someone out of that system, I would absolutely take. Because it's like, I like, I don't know. Like I feel, I, 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 I've always felt 
like even even before even before like i was like you know figuring out like my sexuality and everything i was always kind of like i don't get why i would bring a new life into the world when there are so many that i could improve just by being there you know like that's that like that's been just something that like that i kind of thought about with that where i was just like i don't that like i don't get why i would you know take like do that when i could just easily you know like actually help out and then like you know make a life that already is you know existing better like literally literally just by being there and just by hopefully being a good parent i have no idea but we'll see i i i i, I think i'd like to think that i would but at the same time i get nervous but I know, I know that I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna have a kid like randomly appear tomorrow. So I think I'm, I think I'm good to have some time to figure myself out first. Um, but yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I think you will be a good parent. I hope so. It'd be cool. It'd be fun. You know, because I get to, I get to tell them about this. You know, which I think, which I think, which I think is the, like, which I think would be the coolest thing ever. You know. I would view it, I would view it as the coolest thing ever. So, they might view it as super lame, but that's the thing is that is that like I it happens with like a lot of like quote unquote not I'm definitely not calling myself celebrity at this point, but like quote unquote like celebrity kids and everything where they just don't care. And it's the funniest thing. It's the funniest thing. Like I remember there was like someone with like I I forget who it was, but I think it was like one of like the Marvel actors and everything, where they were just like they were more interested in like what the co co actors were doing rather than like I think like the father was Iron Man or something. That was so funny. Ego huge. Get to tell them about your puzzles. <laughs> to be fair, I would I would teach my child like puzzle solving skills. I think I think that 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 would be a fun thing. You know. I would, I would, I would teach them how to like solve a Rubik's cube from a very young age, you know. But if they don't, if they don't want to as well, I'm not going to try to force it upon them. But I just think like learning something at a young age. I get why parents do it. Like now, now that I have like some of the skills that I have from my parents, like teaching me how to do them where I was young, I understand why parents like try to have their kids at an early age start to get into something. Because you can be really, really good at it with all those years of experience while your while your brain is developing. Show child saw movies at age four. No, to be fair, I got jump scared when I was like six. My first my first ever piece of like actual like quote unquote horror media was when I clicked onto a ghost video. And what it was, I was like, oh my god, real ghosts. Because I was really into ghosts. I was like extremely into ghosts. I was like, oh my god, ghosts are like so cool. Like it's so cool to think that there could be like, you know, spooky spirits and everything. Like I love the oh my god, my parents did get me into horror at a really young age but in like a good way they didn't like show me they didn't like show me saw at like the age of six but like they did show me like little spooky things that they that they thought I could handle and I could um like I got like really into like um like ghosts and everything and I was like I like clicked on like a ghost video and what it was was it, I know I, I know it very very well because it was like it scared me it scared the hell out of me um and basically it showed like a rocking chair and everything and then the chair would, like slowly rock and everything and then all of a sudden wham scary face and then i like i like fell back in my chair and i like i like had to like click you know really quickly click off of it um i got i got like i got like so scared of it and a little ducky um and it was oh it was it was so it's so like funny to think about now about like how like into horror i am and that like should have should have totally taken me off of it yeah um I don't know. I just, I just always, I've always had that thought and that thought has always been in my mind. And I'm like, yeah, I think, I think I will, you know, adopt and everything, you know, because like, you know, like, like quote unquote, like bloodlines and everything like, yeah, I don't, eh. you know, I've already, I feel like I'm already going to leave behind enough of a legacy to the point where I shouldn't care, you know, about like, like bloodline or whatever you know yeah because it's like i like as long as i've you know raised someone to be a good person then who cares who cares if they're if they're related by blood or not that doesn't matter 
Like, that's the thing. Like, that, that just, like, shouldn't matter. And there's, like, there's a lot of pressure. And I feel like that's a very, it's a very old way of thinking where, like, you know, especially with, like, parents and, like, parents and everything where it's, like, poor parents will never get grandkids. No, they will. They definitely will. Doesn't, it, it, that's the thing is that there's such a, there's such an odd thing, especially with people where they think that, like, uh, like, they have, like, something in their mind where it's, like, oh, adopted kids, like, aren't as, like, real as, like, you know, like, or real or whatever as, like, you know, like, oh, like, bloodline kids or whatever. And it's, like, no, they're, they're just, they're just as much, if not, if not, honestly, like, in my eyes, more. That's the thing. What age would you adopt at? Probably, like, well into my 30s. I'm gonna be honest. Like, I like yeah probably probably well into my 30s i don't think i don't i don't think like i would be adopting any any time any time when i'm not in my 30s like well well into my 30s honestly because i because one right i want to live my life right i like i i do want to live my life and i know that when i do you know start to raise a kid my life becomes raising that kid right like, even though I may have times, you know, and everything, that will be, that will be my, my purpose for, for a bit, you know? Not your age, the kid's age? Oh, um, I don't know. I feel like, I feel like I would want to potentially, um, adopt an older kid because, oh, oh, it makes the noise. Oh, it makes the noise. Um, I would say I would say I want to adopt an older kid simply because of the fact that the way that um, older kids are treated, especially with adoption, is also very bad. Like um, because of the fact that like they aren't like people people adopt like like babies and everything because it's like oh I can view this as more of my own. And when pe people have like the weird mindset of like oh if it's not if I don't raise it like since it's an infant it's not like really mine. Someone else like quote unquote like got to it first or whatever, right? So I'm like, is this coffee? No, that's soil. This is soil. Where did this is soil? I'm gonna put soil on the stairs. Um, but it's like it's a really like sad mindset and everything. So it's like I don't know. Like someone, someone that's adopted when they're like you know, like ten should be just as much of a child as uh, such as much of like a child of the parent that is adopting them as when they're like you know, like like one or like like literally like three months or something. You know, it shouldn't, it shouldn't have to be such a thing of like, like, I don't know. It feels, it feels so weird to me. It feels so weird to me how, how a lot of, you know, kids are treated, especially in the, um, you know, foster care and adoption system. It's really sad, honestly. I blame media. Well, yeah, of course. Almost like a lot of things can be blamed on media. That's the, that's the, that's the thing about it, sadly, is that it is based on media it is based on what do you see what you see affects who you are as a person what you're around affects who you are as a person as much as as much as we like to think that like oh you know like maybe like you know like this person would have always turned out to be a good person this person like always would have turned out to be a bad person like it, like environment is a huge thing yes sometimes people do have you know like mental differences and everything in which you know they are inclined to go more one way or the other but it is still a matter of environment a, a lot of the time. And like that, that like helps a person, you know, become who they are. So, yeah. Oh, damn, big towel. Um, oh no, they could change your name. Would you let them? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Listen, like, I don't like like uh, changing changing a name is not the it's not the like the like it's not a it's it's a big deal for the kid but it's it's not it wouldn't be a big deal for me at all like i don't know i don't i don't i don't mind like it's 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 a thing of like i don't know it's just if if they want if they want to you know call themselves something that makes them happier who am i to say that i know what's best for them you know i can i can try to help them I can try to help them, you know, categorize their thoughts and get them. But at the end of the day, it's really not my decision. You know? At the end of the day, it's really not my decision. And who am I to say that it is? Because it's not. Um, let me see. Where do I put the dirt? I don't know where the dirt goes. I'm so confused as to where this dirt is going. Where's the dirt?
The child. <laughs> the child. <laughs> the child is a big old bag of dirt. <laughs> the child is just a big old bag of dirt. <laughs> oh, little hat. Nice. All right. Put that there. Start hanging up this. There we are. Wonderful. You'll be an amazing parent. I hope so. It'd be cool. I definitely get, I definitely get why. Like, uh, I, I definitely get why, you know, people have kids and everything. Because it's like, you can look back and be proud of them and everything. And, you know, just know that the effect that you've had. It, it's, it's weird to say this, right? And this is going to be really confusing, but stay with me for a second. It's kind of the same thing as like content creation in a way of like, or especially the way that, specifically the way that I view it. It's... I know that I will have at least some kind of good ripple effect on the world. Right? Like, some type of good effect on the world that will last longer than my lifetime. You know? That will hopefully be around after the, after I die. Right? After, after I'm gone. Right? Which is a, which is a long ways off. But... Just knowing that, like, no matter, no matter what, down the line, someone's going to find, you know, that, that old, that old video of mine, right? Someone's going to find that sort of, that sort of old thing, and they're going to go, oh, who was this person? That's so chronically online? What do you mean? It's the same thing as why people make goddamn giant statues of themselves. It's the exact same thing as when people people want to be remembered. That has just been a thing of human history. Is that people want to be remembered. People do not want to be forgotten. One of humanity's biggest fears is being forgotten. It's why we carve it's why we carve our paintings or we carve our etchings into the stone when all we know how to do is barely speak to each other. Because we want to we want to put our mark, we want to make our mark and we want to say that hey, I was here. I had an effect. I did something. Because the idea of being forgotten is so scary because of the fact that so many people have existed, right? And we have to deal with that, of like the fact that there are billions of people that we have no idea that they've existed and everything. It's why people do things it's why people want to create it's why people want to be creative and create something that they're known for simply because not because of the fact you know like it may be for success maybe for fame and everything but at the end of the day it's because you want to make something that will last you know you want to, you want to make something that will last so i don't i don't think it's a it's a it is a chronically online the thing to say that you know content creation has a lot of parallels with the reason why people do a lot of the things that they do you know like, I, I can, I like used to lay awake at night when I was, when I hadn't started this job, right? And I used to think like, what am I doing? Am I, am I doing something right now that, am I, am I like, like, when my life ends, what will I have to show for it? You know, and that was, that was me with, like during like quarantine and everything. That was a huge, that was a huge massive thought that I had during quarantine was like, when I die, what will I have left to show for it? Right? And I actually found a little bit of solace before I started content creation. And it's the thing of people do not realize how much of a ripple effect they have on the world. And even though your name may not be in the history books, your art may not be hung up in the museum, you may have started the ripple effect for someone else's art to be in the museum for someone else's statue to be made, for someone else's, you know, magnum opus to be created. You may be the reason for that. And you may never know that. And that's the thing, is that you have to think about that. At the end of the day, do you care about the credit? Right? Like, do you care about the credit? Or do you care about just knowing? Because if you do care about the credit, that's fine. But the thing is, is that you can think about it in a way of like, there are so many people that you have positively affected. No matter what, no matter who you are, no matter what you, life you've lived, 
you know, if even if you've hurt people, even if you've even if you've like, you know, like caused, you know, ups, people to be upset at you or, you know, you've accidentally done you've accidentally made a mistake, you've accidentally done something wrong, like you still had a positive effect on the world. You know, that's the thing. And you shouldn't you shouldn't try and lay awake at night being like, oh, my God, what if this is what if this is it? What if this is all I'm doing? What if I like, you know, what if I, you know, like, you know, like, like die tomorrow, right? And I have nothing to show for it. You have, you, you will have something to show for it. You know, at the end of the day, right? You may not be remembered as a person, but your effects on the world will always be remembered. Right? Like, like that's, that's an important thing. Your effects on the world, every single person has affected the world in such a like if one person right if one person did not exist like 50 years ago the entire modern age could be completely different simply because of the fact of how beautiful it is that everyone's lives are extremely interconnected as well right everyone's lives are are very interconnected and the beautiful thing about that is that everyone has because we are because we are social beings right we're, we're we're social beings everyone has had like such an such an effect on the world and everything you be a good therapist i guarantee you i i will not i can i can guarantee you i am not um but yeah everyone everyone has had their effect on the world so again back to my point is that i am able to rest easy even uh, even if <laughs> even if um you know like I have done nothing more, right? And I and I die tomorrow. I know the fact that there have been people that have, you know, come up to me at like conventions at anything and have said like you've had a positive impact on my life. You know, and there are people that yeah, this is your streamer, not your therapist. Again, I like getting into these things, right? And I like getting into these things because I just like talking about them and everything because I I find them really interesting. This should not mean that, you know, I'm still a streamer. I still just make content. All right. It's the thing of like, there is still that, you know, that little gap between you don't really know me at the end of the day. Although I do like to be open about things. Again, you really don't know me. But, but anyway, um, just, I just had to say that real quick. Just, you know, pull, pulling you out real fast. Um, but there, there's been, there's been times and there's been moments that I'm not going to, I'm not going to talk about because they are very, very personal for the people. Um, but there have been, there have been moments and stories that I've heard, um, especially during meet and greets and everything. And there was this one specific one during the last one, um, that I had that again, I can't go into specifics, be, um, simply because, you know, privacy and everything. Um, but I remember afterward, I legitimately almost started to cry because of it. Like, and it was like, I, I was just so taken aback by it because I was like, I didn't, like, I, I still, I, every single day I wake up and I never really fully, I guess, realize the impact that I sometimes have. And like, it was, it was a very, very, you know, heartfelt and sweet conversation. It was just like, kind of like, just knowing that I've made such a positive impact on someone's life to the point where they would you know come here and tell me these things i'm like huh i don't know it, it kind of it kind of made me like think in a way of like you know i can maybe maybe i won't just be immediately forgotten as soon as i as soon as i you know disappear for any reason you know and that kind of that kind of like i don't know it's like a huge like uh, it's because a huge again a huge fear is being forgotten that is always a huge thing and it's it's a thing of like it's so difficult to get over that fear you definitely won't be i will i'd say i'd say i've got maybe a hundred years maybe maybe not even that right that's the thing like i've got i've got maybe another like hundred years of people after after my death may maybe not even that eventually everyone will forget that everyone has existed but what matters is again in the year 3000 right 
when there's someone that because of a ripple effect that I have had, that they feel happier because of it than if I just didn't exist. And that's worth it. You know, I'll be able to I'll be able to look from wherever the hell I am after death, who knows? Maybe maybe I'll be that person. You know, maybe maybe I'm affecting, you know, a future as as my mom says, spaceship that my soul gets to be in. You know? Like who knows? Who knows what the hell's happened? And that's that's the beautiful that's the beautiful thing about it. That's the that's the that's the beautiful thing about it is that like no one knows what happens after like when we die, right? And that makes the thought of life just so much more important. You know, that makes it that makes it so much more important to not spend your time just constantly thinking about, "Oh my god, like am I not doing enough right now? Am I not like, you know, like, oh my god, like what I'm I've made these mistakes. I've done all these things like is my life when I die just going to be viewed as a, you know, as like a zero or something? And no, because even if, right, and even if you've given someone a bad experience or a bad feeling, you have given them growth. They may hate you for it. They may, they may despise you for the rest of their life because of it. But you still have given them growth in a way. And you sh and as well as you give them growth for yourself, because hopefully you should know, you should learn and learn to not make those mistakes. You know, like that's that's another important thing is that like everyone's everyone's learning. No one knows how the hell anything works. Like, literally, no one. If anyone says that they do, they're lying. I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do. I have no idea what is going to happen within the next like six months of my life. Right, and. I don't even have a plan. I have no idea what's going to happen in the next three years, right? And I'm just taking it as each day I get to do, I get to wake up and I get to do something. I get to do something hopefully good, maybe bad. And even if I do, then I've learned and I will get to improve because maybe, right? Maybe an experience that I'm having now has kind of led me to avoid an experience like later. Right, that's that's an important thing is that like you like when when people have like you know bad things happen right because bad bad things always happen they'll always happen that's that's just been that's another constant of the world you i think that people don't realize like sometimes those things need to happen in order for worse things to not happen in the future you know i'm not your therapist as well do not view me as that get professional help all right, I'm just saying these things because I want to say these things. Okay, I like, I'm just talking because I want to talk. All right, about these things, because I like talking about these things. Um, all right, I'm definitely not. I've got no idea what the hell I'm talking about. I could be wrong about any of this, okay? All right, I've only, I've only recently started like getting, getting professional help for everything, all right? So I want to make sure that you guys know that, all right? Because I don't want to, I don't, yeah, I don't want, yeah, but yeah, anyway. Back to, back to, again, the original, original conversation. Everyone's, everyone's life matters. At the end of the day, I, I think that, you know, a very, very vast majority of people, like, a very, very big majority of people will always have a net, net positive on the world. You know? And you just have to try to, you know, continue. Because that's that's the thing is that the the worst thing that you can do in life is give up on it. That's 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 been a thought that I've always had in my life er, that I've always just kind of had in my life is the worst thing that you can do with your life is give up on it and think, you know, I don't think I'll ever amount to anything or I don't know what I'm doing anymore or I don't think that I you know I'm ever going to do anything because you never know what could happen in two years, in three years. Yes, those two or three years may continue to be the worst in your life, but at least you're still living it. That's the thing, is that at least you're still here, you know? Like, that's the most important thing, because you're still, you're still going, and then you never know, right? You could win the goddamn lottery and then not be a someone that dies because of it because they immediately spend it all on drugs. 
that's the thing that happens like way too often it's incredible actually not incredible but you know what i mean like that's the thing like anything could happen in life like i i technically i would say that i've won the lottery with this like i'm <clears throat> i'm gonna be honest like considering like what the hell happened with all of it i would say that i have definitely you know lucked out so to say so it's like and if i you know gave up on that before i even gave it the chance to happen then i would have never met the people that i've met i would have never had the good experiences that i've had i would have just you know just kind of not been able to do any of that i would have not been able to affect the amount of people that i've been able to affect that's the thing at the end of the day the reason the always it's always been the reason why i've started this job the reason the, the main reason why i've always started this job was just because of the fact that i just wanted to have a positive effect on people right like i, I may have had a negative effect on people i i think that that's definitely been possible i'm not perfect i'm not going to say the perfect things all the time i'm not going to do the perfect stuff all the time you know like that's the thing like i'm gonna i'm gonna continue to mess up because i'm you know human just as much as everyone else and you know that's okay that's that's a-okay i'm just glad that i'm able to continue doing the things that i want to do and continue to be around the people that i appreciate so goddamn much and where the hell do these pants go um <laughs> i don't i'm like i'm so confused um yeah i don't know i i obviously i've had days where i've struggled i've had days where like you know stuff stuff's been going down i've been like oh man this really really sucks at the end of the day i'm always just like i am so lucky to live the life that i've been living and i'm so happy that i get to continue to live it i think i'm done with this closet nice hang up the shorts baby i don't have extra hangers I literally had an extra hanger. Well, it was, that was only one extra hanger, though. I don't have two extra hangers. Can I put these here? No, I can't. Never mind. There we go. You're my comfort streamer. Gotcha. Um. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's 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 my big old spiel. I think so comforting um <laughs> yeah i don't know i really enjoyed this i really enjoyed this this job and everything and i'd love to be able to keep keep on continuing to do it in any which way that i can and so far any which way has been oh there it is there it is oh my god yes there we go we've done it okay i don't know it's just been very nice it's been it's been a very very nice time and i'm excited i'm excited you know just go to conventions and kind of chill especially because i think I think I may be reaching the point of like not necessarily the point of not going to conventions but maybe the point of like starting to like pull back on the amount of conventions that I do as well um simply because of the fact that again travel is a lot you know and everything and also you know I've I've met I've met so many people already and I do want to I do want to continue to meet more and everything but I also have I I've never I've always never really liked too much the idea of like all right here's this person that has like you know like you know made like of like an impact on your life they're part of the people that have made an impact on your life here they are and then they're gone like i'm always just like oh man i don't know i don't know i don't know but it's it's i don't know it's nice because the thing is is that i feel i feel like there's like a big thing especially with like you know the term the term parasocial in which the sense of yes you do not know me i am not anyone's quote unquote really like friend if if you if you watch me and everything right that's just that's just the thing and you guys hopefully know that all right because i just make content all right and that's all i want to do and that's all i want to continue to do all right and at the end of the day that doesn't mean that i cannot appreciate you guys Right? That doesn't mean that I can't, you know, say that, like, yes, you guys have made a huge impact in my life that I am extremely grateful for all the time, that I constantly think about, right? But 
at the end of the day, I'm still just a person that I'm, I'm sitting in the middle of my room playing a game about unpacking while I've still got a bunch of boxes, <laughs> you know? Like, that's the thing. Like, it's... It's the thing of, like... It's... there's There's gotta be, like, definitely, like, you know, just a, just a balance. I feel like a balance... Like, obviously, you shouldn't view me as just content machine with no you know, personality or human emotions or nothing relatable to me at all, right? But you also shouldn't view me as like, I know this person on a personal level, right? Because that's 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 just, that's not healthy for, for anyone. Content machine, make more content. Yep, exactly. Um, but I don't know, it's like, it's like the thing of, um, that, that, that boundary always has to be there and everything. Do I wish that I've said it earlier? Absolutely. There are so many things that I wish that I said earlier. Right. And there's so many things that I still have have yet to say that I want to say, right, that I'll that I'll get to eventually. Right. But the thing is, is that as long as you guys are treating me like a human. You know, but also realizing that, yes, there is a difference between me and, you know, your your friend or, you know, any anything else. There's a very big difference because the thing that you do not know me. All right, you do not know me at all, and you probably never actually will. And when I mean no, I mean no, like, you, you know what I mean when I say know me. I'm, I'm, I don't have to explain that, but yeah, because it's like there should always be that separation between person and person who they are online and who they are in, in person. I would say that there's definitely, I'm definitely not, you know, like just like beating people up randomly on on the streets of brighton at night you know i'm not i'm not that much different but at the end of the day i still am different from what i put on screen there are still things that i have kept you know obviously um that i've kept from you know from the internet for very very good reasons all the time put this under the pillow um and i deserve i deserve to do that that's the thing I, I, any, any content creator deserves to have that sort of privacy and they deserve to not have to feel like they have to put a hundred percent of themselves out there at all times or otherwise, you know, they won't establish as much of a bond or whatever, you know, like that's, that's an important thing. Like people, I don't know, people, people should just be allowed to live. Content creators should just be allowed to live without having to worry about every single little possible thing. And that's been a huge reason why I've wanted to go into more directing and like, you know, creating more creative things because of the fact that I, I want to be known for what I make rather than me, if that makes sense at this point. Like I'm, I'm at a point where I'm like, I want to be more sort of known for like what I've like made and everything, like more like a director and everything, because I want to be able to like, you know, walk at a convention from time to time, right? And it's like, obviously, I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to do that, right? I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to do that. And I've kind of made my peace with that. But like, it'd be nice, you know? It'd be, it'd be nice to. I think, it'd, I think it'd be nice to just be able to be, you know, uh, the way that especially, you know, the 2020 to 2022 period of content creators, the way that that developed was... I'll say very unhealthy. The way the way that that developed was very unhealthy in the way of content creators were very dehumanized and a lot of them didn't even realize that they were dehumanizing themselves. That's the thing is that I didn't even I didn't even realize that. I didn't even realize that like, you know, I wasn't like I was like putting myself out as like this idea of the person that I was rather than the person that I was simply because of the fact that you know, it would, it would, you know, have people enjoy what I do, right? And it's crazily unhealthy to, as well, and I'm glad, I'm glad that I did talk about this in the beginning a little bit, but I'm also glad that I've talked about this now more of the sense of it is absolutely, just absolutely god-awful the lengths that people will go to defend someone that they do not know. Even if they feel that they know them, they can feel that they know them all that they want. The lengths that people will go 
is to defend again just people that they do not know is genuinely terrifying right and the fact that you know that is sometimes fed into as well is also just as just as bad the idea that that is also fed into in my eyes is is awful like it is so weird like if you're leaving someone's address you're going too far well yeah of course but also it's like the thing is is that if someone says that they don't like something that your content creator does you like like suddenly like pulling up like i don't know like every other thing that the other content creator does and going oh yeah well this sucked too like look at it like what that is such like a that is such a weird thing like that's such a that's such just an odd thing to do in general because it's like i have never looked at someone you know like like defending me on the internet by like putting down another person you know being like oh yeah well this person you know like uh does more views than this person and i've never gone oh yeah i feel defended and i feel like that was right no i felt like that's just really weird content creation isn't a goddamn like competition you know like 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 I like someone with 1000 views could be making, you know, much better content than someone with a million views. And that uh, views are not like views and numbers are not a value of a measurement of worth or a measurement of, you know, like of anything. And I, I know because of the fact that like I used to tie my self worth to the number that I had, right? To, to the, to the point where I was. In, in like in my career and everything and if i wasn't if i wasn't doing that i would get so sad and i would believe the things that those people were saying i would believe that i am you know either like a legitimately like bad content creator or like what i make is not good you know simply because of the fact that it doesn't like get as many views as something else as long as people and i, I kind of came to the realization of as long as people are enjoying it who cares like i don't like who who cares if if you know like like something that i'm making you know isn't like you know like oh the most extremely popular thing all the time right and even if it was i would still have the same thing because i know that like the mindset may be of like oh you're only saying this because you don't like no i'm saying this because of the fact that for a while when i was a goddamn teenager i would have people you know basically taking my worth and giving it a number and then comparing it to other people who were my friends and i would constantly feel like i was in competition with people that i cared about because of the fact that you know as again a 16 17 year old i felt like if i was not you know sort of you know doing what like if, if i wasn't like you know doing as well then i was doing worse and thus i was being worse and thus people did not like me as much because again i i was a i was a you know i was a kid with a lot of social anxiety i wanted to be liked you know i wanted i wanted to be liked so much to the point where i would change things about myself that i shouldn't have changed in that way you know and that is that is, again is such a terrible thing that has come from that time period is the fact that people have given worth to a creator based on how well a certain thing does. And then if something doesn't do as well, people view that as a way of, of, of just, you know, insulting the creator's worth or the creator's creativity. And that is such an awful thing. That is such an awful thing, you know? So sorry you went through that, don't feel bad for me. Again, this isn't supposed, again, people may view it as like, oh, you know like oh trauma dump or whatever no i'm just simply saying of the fact that like i'm using this as an example for you guys to realize uh, if there are people in chat that are like doing this or thinking this way i'm saying this as a way of like showing how those actions can affect people right i'm saying i'm not saying it as a woe is me or i want i want you know i want someone to make a, a make a post about oh wow that's so sad you know we should support him because of this no I, I used to, I'll, I'll say that, I'll, I used to, in the sense of, I would see what people would say about me, it would make me so sad that I, like, I tried to, like, you know, sort of, like, seek validation from that, and I shouldn't have, and I absolutely shouldn't have, and I've learned from that, and I've, and I've grown about that, 
and I've grown from that. And I know that I will never, I will never do that type of thing again because of the thing you're unpacking some trauma. It's okay. I'm, I'm not. I'm, I'm simply using it as examples of the thing of like. I, I, I don't know. Growth is good and important. Exactly. I don't know. It's, it's, it's the thing of like. Again, back to the original statement, like, if you feel so attached to someone in the way of you are willing to put down another person simply for having a different opinion about them, that's not a good thing to do. You know, that's not, a, that's just not a good thing to do at all. So it's nice to hear all the different parts of the content creation space. Yeah, exactly. I'm now that I'm in, you know, a much better place and everything. I want to be able to show you guys and tell you guys. Well, hopefully, you guys can learn from this as well. If you do that, you need to take a step back and rethink yourself. Yep, exactly. Think about in like, you know, like twenty years or something. Are you going to look back on what you're saying and be like, "Yeah, I'm really glad that I insulted that teenager." for saying that what my, you know, like, you know, 30 year old content creator made was bad. I'm really glad that I attacked them and their self-worth. And I find myself to be a better person because of that. No. What the hell? <laughs> not, not at all. Not at all. Jesus Christ. If you, if you are proud of yourself for doing that, then I don't, I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say about that because that is just such, again, it is just such an awful way of thinking. It is such a toxic, terrible way of thinking in the way of like, it, it's like, oh man, I'm so glad that I, like I sold all those people because the fact that they said that like the, the video that, you know, the video compilation that, you know, Fartmaster 12 made was bad. Like what? 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 Who cares? Middle schoolers? It literally is. It literally is. It's literally punching someone on the playground for not liking Legos. It literally is just middle school drama. Like, goddamn. Leave Fartmaster 12 out of this. <laughs> but it, it literally is. And it's like, again, I... I appreciate that that period of my life so much as well but the the effects that it has had on the internet and continues to have on a lot of parts on the internet has genuinely been so terrifying to look back on and go oh holy crap this was awful this was like oh my god this was just straight up just a terrible thing you know like people should not have been like, you know, ranked by how well they're, by how well everything's doing. You know, like, like uh, that's such an awful thing. You know, like people should not have valued people based on the, you know, like how many, how much stuff, uh, it's, it's scary. And I'm glad that I'm now making the steps to kind of, you know, set those boundaries in place. I really wish I did so at the time, but better late than never, I guess. You know, because I would much rather have, you know, 50 people that watch me and respect me and, you know, are, you know, fun to banter back and forth with and everything than a thousand, than 10,000 people that constantly, you know, look for every single thing that not only I am doing, but every other content creator doing to see if it like relates to me in any positive or negative way. Like that is so incredibly toxic in just in just every in every single way like that is that is so incredibly toxic <laughs> someone just said nodding um but yeah it's it's so incredibly toxic to like constantly like it's scary it's so scary because it's like people should not be worried about you know like every Every, like uh, people should not have to be worried about you know like every single thing like especially content creators right like i get it content creators do have a responsibility to be responsible with what they say and what they do and how their platform affects other people 
right? That is a huge responsibility. But also, they should not have to worry about their own safety for that. They should not have to worry that, like, clicking one button could end up in someone someone's life potentially being at risk. Like, the fact that that is even a remote thing is terrifying. And it is so genuinely awful. So again, I hope that of any any of people that have watched me before, if you're doing that stuff, I really, really hope that you take what I'm saying into account and kind of realize that when, you know, when, when it comes to later down on the line, are you really going to be proud of that? Are you really going to be proud of how you've affected other people? You know? Like, it's so, like, I don't know. That that period of time has had a lot of very positive effects. And a lot of good things come from it. But it has also led to some of the most just awful stuff that I've ever seen be said about people that just wanted to make, just wanted to create. That's the thing. Like, imagine, imagine, like, imagine, like, someone that's literally just creating, like, pencil drawings all of a sudden having to deal with, with, you know, the, the, like, the interpersonal conflict between, you know, watercolor artists. Like, at the end of the day, that shouldn't, like, that shouldn't have to matter, and that's so terrifying. It was a mixing pot of everything at once. Yeah, it was a lot of people that had gone through a lot of, a lot of, like, you know, quarantine and everything, had gone through a lot of changes in their life that happened all very, very fast. A lot of people were very hurt by that period of time. You know, a lot of people were very, very hurt by the period of time, so they found comfort in things. But sometimes when you find comfort in something during a bad period in your life or during a traumatic period in your life, you can develop such an unhealthy connection to it to the point where you think that if anyone remotely insults it or anyone remotely like talks about it in a negative way, that it is insulting what you have gone through. And it's insulting something that you have that you have that you like that has helped you recover from something that's that's what it is that's that's a huge reason why there has been so much like why that why that why that happened why all that stuff has happened it's because of the fact that again i'm not i'm not saying this is fact again like I, this is just this is just what i've observed from my you know years of doing this is that People view, you know, someone saying, I just, you know, don't like this person, you know, for either valid or unvalid reasons, right? Or they just have opinions on other people. And they view that as an attack against that person's character, against those person's beliefs, against those person's entire being, when maybe they just didn't like how a certain video was edited. It's not that deep, you know? Or maybe they, or maybe they like, or maybe they dislike for other reasons that, again, could be very valid. So, like, it's it's scary. It's scary that people aren't allowed to say... And again, I'm going to say the term not allowed because that's essentially what it is. You know? Again, if any of you guys are ever searching, you know, like, my name to find anyone that's saying anything negative about me, I don't want you here. I don't, like, that's the thing, is that I do not want you here at all because that is such a just incredibly toxic thing to do. It's not going to help your mental health. It's definitely sure as hell not going to help mine. Like, that's the thing. Like, imagine, like, oh. Uh, like, I, like, it, it sucks. It sucks so much when, especially because this hasn't happened much um, recently. This hasn't as much recently. It has definitely happened. But it's the thing of, like, it made me so sad when I would, like, you know, go through, you know, like, my, like, little, my, like, little places that I would check because, you know, I love... I absolutely love the people in the community that continue to do good and continue to uplift and support people, right? And then I would see something of being like, you know, some random person being like, well, yeah, well, this person sucks because of the fact that they said this negatively bad thing about this other person. And now I'm going to go through their entire, you know, statistics, their entire stream history, their entire absolutely everything to find why they are a worse person so that I can feel so that I can essentially disprove an opinion. That's that's what's happening, is that people are trying to just disprove what is a simple opinion. 
right? And even if the opinion is like wrong and everything, people still have their personal preferences. It's so odd. It's so, so genuinely odd. Because it's like, if, and again, it, like, I, I can assure you that no content creator has ever saw someone, you know, pulling up, you know, how, like how well they've been doing or how bad they've been doing and going like, oh, hell yeah, I'm so glad that this person did that. And if that person is, then they do not, they do not, they should not have the platform that they have. If that person is encouraging the mindset of, you know, like, oh, if I have more success or better statistics than another person, therefore I am better than that person. If that if that content creator is is encouraging that in any way, they do not deserve to have the platform that they have. In 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 any way. Because that is such a genuinely awful thing to encourage is to encourage the idea of putting people that just both want to create against each other. You know? That's that's the that's the that's the terrible thing is that you're just putting people who just both want to create, who just want to be creative, who both want to deal with, you know, their own ideas and problems in their own ways against other people. For no reason other than, you know, oh man, this will do numbers. Like, or maybe, or like, oh man, maybe like, and like, uh, uh, uh. There should be no co competition within content creation. That's the thing. There should, there should be no competition within content creation. There should definitely be, you know, awards and everything to uplift, you know, good people that are making amazing things. Absolutely. But, there should not be, you know, people that would send, you know, legitimate like threats and everything or like, you know, pull up like, oh, well, this person should have won because of this, you know, or like, like that's such a just a toxic way of thinking because content creation, again, because of that time period, a lot like, oh, like because of that time period, the competition of content creation has become a lot more um, shown within the last when within within the last kind of time period right it, it definitely existed before but the period of time that we have had has changed it so much to the point where it is more competitive than ever right it is it is so much more competitive than ever because of the fact that there are people that are pitting other content creators against each other just because of the fact that they i don't know want to feel better about themselves i don't know like, that's such a weird thing. The small streamer community was a lot. Oh, yeah. I... I... Phew. Trust me, like, there is... A lot that even comes to just small content creators. And that's the thing, is that it's that mindset that's been passed down onto people that just want to start creating, too. People, like, that's the thing, is that it's just people that want to start creating. Right? Like, the, the, the way that, like, numbers have been so valued and have been so, like, like, just, like, like, made, like, oh, this person is worth more if, if their number, numbers are higher, has affected the newer generation of content creators as well. Because now they'll see that, like, especially because I've seen it, I've seen it so many times with so many incredibly talented artists where they, like, they don't want to make art simply because of the fact that they don't think it will do well right or they view losing followers as uh, people no longer care about me that's a, that's been the biggest thing right and I've, I've wanted to talk about this with like artists for a bit and everything where i think i think an important thing to realize right is that your worth is not measured in any way on how many followers you have on how little followers you have if people unfollow because you know you post a certain kind of art or you switch up the certain kind of art you make that's just how content creation works i really wish that it wasn't but it's the thing of right if people follow because of a certain thing if they see a different thing chances are they may unfollow right and that doesn't mean that they've stopped caring that doesn't mean that they don't care right because it's like the thing is right is that i've switched up the content that i've made and I've gone through a huge drop because of it. But I do not 
view that as, wow, I cannot believe how genuinely awful those people are because of the fact that they unfollow me because they are interested in the content that I make. No, I definitely agree that all art should be supported and that the artist should be supported rather than the art that they make. But at the same time, artists, you cannot be beating yourself up over it. That's the thing is that I've seen so many talented people afraid to create because of the fact that of how valued and I will I will constantly talk about how I believe that all art should be uplifted and all talented art should be uplifted no matter what they draw. But at the same time, it is what content creation is. That is what content creation is. If you are an artist, you are and then you upload your art, you are a content creator. And if you become, you know, if you if you gain following because of a certain type of content, yes, you will go through a drop if you switch up that content. That doesn't mean that people care less. That doesn't mean that your value is less. That simply means that, you know, you've made you've switched up what you want to do. And if you're happier because of it, then you should view that as as growth. You should view that as I am yes, I'm like, you know, losing people that follow me for some type of art, but you, that's the thing is that if let's say right if you lost like 10 followers in a day right you don't know if you lost you know 30 people that no longer care but gained 20 people that do care and will be more supportive that's the thing is that the 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 graph will only show a negative right that's the thing is that the graph will only show a negative you may be gaining people that will start to genuinely support you so much more than those 30 people ever were ever ever will right so it's like if you're if you're viewing that it's like wow i can't believe people only you know like like this certain thing or people like unfollow after i after i post this type of thing you do not know what you are gaining you only see what you are losing simply because of the fact that it is more number than what you're gaining than what you're gaining so again make stuff all right and do and if you do decide you know oh i'm gonna do this specific type of thing if you switch that up yes people will unfollow i really wish that wasn't the case all right i really really wish that wasn't the case and i do again implore people to always support artists but your value should not be based on who sees your art on who interacts with your art all right you should make art because you want to be creative and you want other people to see it that's the thing is that you have to remember why you started art in the first place. It's because you have something in your mind that makes you want to create, right? So it's like, if you are valuing, if you are, if you are like constantly, and this goes for not just for artists, but genuinely for anyone, if you're constantly refreshing anytime you post, looking at your following account and going, oh my God, I can't believe it dropped because I post this thing. You should not be doing that. That's so incredibly unhealthy. Post what you want to make. Be interested in what you want to be interested in and do not care about whether you're gaining or losing following from it. Right? Like, you should not... It's it's so easy, though, to say the terms just don't care, right? It's very hard to just not care. But if you start slowly changing your mindset, start slowly changing, you know, why you're doing what you're doing, you will be happier because of it. You know? Because, again... I have seen so many incredibly talented people say such like just awful things about what they've created and about what they've done because of a number or because of the fact that I see it or I don't see it. Okay. Like you should, your value should just be on the fact of you can, you can look at how far you've come with the art that you've created. You can see how much you've improved, right? That's such that's such an important thing to remember because again I've seen it just time and time again with so many people and it's been so it's been so genuinely heartbreaking for me because the idea that's that one's you know creative this creative flame can be snuffed out is is really is really sad to me it's really really sad to me because you know I really want people to keep creating even if it doesn't have anything to do with me i want just i want to see more cool stuff you know i don't know so again at the end of the day your value should not be based on numbers okay and also yeah like like it's not it, you you don't have to worry you shouldn't have to worry about that like if you don't like what you're doing you don't have to keep doing it just because you feel 
you know, like a like a like some kind of pressure to by a force that may honestly not even exist. That force may not even exist. It may just be in your own head because of the patterns that you overanalyze with what you post. Right? That's the thing. Remember, like, remember that. I don't know. But again, back to back to everything else. Content creation should never be a competition. And if you are contributing to that in any way, I don't, I do not want you, I do not want you here. I, I like, again, I will constantly, I will, like, I've learned now, I didn't used to before, but I learned now that I will just start to constantly speak out against things that I don't like, even if I lose so many people because of it. All right? That's the thing is, and there's so much that I still have yet to say, so much that I still have yet to do, and I hope that one day I'll be able to slowly get through it, but a lot of it is simply because of the fact that there is, that again, that huge fear because of the way that the realm of content creation has shifted so much into everything being competitive, everything being personal, because people connect, right? People have sort of used that human connection that people gain with creators to sort of just get it, like, to, to use it for financial gain. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to speak bluntly. There have been so many people that have used their, like, their, like, personality and, like, tried to use that parasocial relationship for money. It's for money. Like, that's the, that's the thing, is that it is so incredibly sad to see people have such just a, just a, just a, like an unhealthy boundary with so many people that believe things that may not even be true about the person because of the fact that they want to be more successful because of the fact that it, that they have felt like it's a competition. And if they're not more successful than other people, then they don't have as much worth. And it is so incredibly sad to see that throughout throughout the throughout the years that I've been doing this with so many people. So many people. And I'll like like and I'm sure that there's been things where even I've said that has fallen into that. Because it's a very easy thing to fall into. It is a very easy thing to go and, you know, put out a version of yourself that is so far from the re actual true reflected version of yourself that people get so attached to that in such an unhealthy way that the moment that 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 content is criticized it feels like they're criticizing the person and they feel like they're defending the creator from like bullies but in reality like it, like that's the thing when, when in reality it's like Ah, it's so sad. It's just so sad. Like, I really hope that it continues to shift. And I honestly, I've seen it. It's been kind of going in a good direction with 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 what I've seen with like like my community and everything. I think it has been going in a good direction. I've seen, you know, people, although I have, again, I've been off of it way less. Like, I've been on it way less. But the amount of people that i've seen defend me over things has very much like drastically dropped and everything the way that you know that's the thing is that again and it's it is okay to defend me against things if someone is saying something that is so heinously untrue that is just like just just blatant misinformation you can correct them but do so in a way of like you know do so in a way of like hey this thing isn't true about this person because of this and if that person goes oh well, i don't believe that then you shouldn't go, oh yeah? Well, guess what? Here's every single insult that I have to throw at you. Because you have, you have, you know, upset my friend. When that person, when, when that quote unquote friend is at home, just not caring. It's not like, that's the thing. It's, it's like, oh, it's just, it, it, it's so so sad to see it's so sad to see 
And it's like, if so, please, again, be respectful to people. You know, the block button exists, the music button exists. Not everyone's going to like me. There's plenty of people that are never going to like me, no matter how hard I try, no matter how hard I, you know, do things, everything. And the amount of people that like me isn't based on my worth at all. And if people are viewing me that way, if people are saying that, oh, wow, I'm a I'm a bad content creator because of the fact of this, or because of the fact of that, or continuing to turn into a competition, then those people aren't worth your time. You know? Those people are not worth your time in any way. In any way. Because they have such an unhealthy attachment to a person that they are willing to take time out of their day to look up all the negative things that are said about that person just so they can defend them. Like, in, in just just awful ways in just such awful ways so I, I don't know again i'm i like i know that i'm speaking of the sense of there may be mistakes that i make with this later on down the line i'm not going to say that i'm completely perfect with this because i don't think i am i think that i still have a long way to go based on how i act around content creation how i do everything but there have been moments of self-reflection that i've had that i've shown like hey doing this isn't good Seeing, seeing all this happen, yeesh, not a good thing to have happen. You know, like, and it's, 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 oh, it's, again, it's the, again, and then again, to, to reiterate this point as well. If the content creator is trying to fortify that in order to ensure that they will continue to be successful, then essentially that's just, that's just a type of manipulation. I'm going to be honest. That is just a type of manipulation. They're putting a version of themselves out there that they're trying to make you attach to it so that you continue to make them more successful while all you really get is maybe a like, maybe a follow back, maybe a maybe, you know, like a your name said and for what? Was it worth it? Was it worth constantly fighting and insulting so many people just just for that? Do you not really realize that defending that if someone is encouraging you to defend them in toxic ways that that is not a good thing? That's just not a good thing. Like, I'm going to be honest. Like, I'm uh, like, I'm, I'm, I'm speaking very bluntly here. It's just, it's terrible. So remember, take some time to self-reflect. And again, if I'm ever doing that, I sure as hell want people to be like, hey, the way that you're acting is kind of weird towards this. You know, the way that like, you know, the way that like this has been said is kind of, is kind of odd. And I believe that is, you know, creating something that is, you know, odd and I will stop that because I'm like, I, the last thing that I want is people to believe that they know me to such an extent of where if any part of me is insulted, that they take that against them and they take drastic measures for it. Because my God, my God, it is so genuinely awful to have seen how toxic everything has been because of the encouragement of it and that's the thing that's the such the awful thing about it is that it has been encouraged the fact that it has been encouraged and not outright stated against simply because of the fact that content creators are so afraid of losing the platform that they have because of the way that the platform acts that's the thing is that people and again even again i'm guilty of this I will say that I am so incredibly guilty of this. People can be so afraid of, of, you know, calling out like bad actions within a community simply because of the fact that they are afraid of like, oh, what if they just like straight up leave and everything and then my numbers go down. I was very much like that in the beginning where I would see things that would go very much against the boundaries that I had set at time, but I was so afraid that one day I would wake up and all of this would be gone that I would just continue to just kind of grin and bear it. And I'd just be like, it's just the way that things are. Can't do anything about it when I could have. 
when I could have. And that's all. Oh. That's the thing. It's so, again, like, ugh. The way, I really hope that things change for the better, and I really hope that both content creators and the people that watch them kind of come to a realization of maybe the way that the person that I am watching consuming the content of has been acting towards the people that watch them is not a healthy way. The fact that that I believe that the fact that people are led to believe that they have to defend the people as well is the wildest thing. That is genuinely the wildest part of it to me as well. Also, I know I okay, also by the way, VOD watchers, sorry that you're just getting hit with all of this. Um I'm just going on a tangent. Um but oh, it's um what was I just talking about? I'm so sorry, I've completely lost my train of thought. I've completely lost my train of thought. It was about to be it was about to be a banger point. It was about to be such a banger point. We're not your personal army. Yep, exactly. The fact that people have been led to believe that they are that person's defense is such an awful thing. Because that should not have to happen. That should not have to happen. If if there is something that needs to be legitimately defended against by the creator it should be the responsibility of the creator to do that all right it should be the responsibility of the creator to to you know like to to defend themselves if there is something that legitimately needs to be defended against and i'm not talking about things that need to be defended against is like you know people calling my content bad no but if there ever is a situation it should be swiftly and correctly addressed by the content creator and not the fans of the content creator because jesus christ imagine putting an audience of you know very like impressionable people some very very young and that should not be experiencing this stuff imagine basically curating such a culture in which you believe that teenagers should have to look into like certain things and defend you from it. Could you imagine? Like that is like that is such an awful thing. Like people should not have to go through that in order to defend someone that they watch that makes, you know, silly goddamn like I don't know, uh, uh, pixel art meme compilations or whatever. Who cares? Like it's so incredibly sad to that. Like, it's so incredibly sad to see that so many people's, you know, like, because content creation, right? What content creation is, is it's creating things that people enjoy and that people find joy from and that people find an escape from. And, you know, maybe people's realities aren't that good. Maybe people's realities, you know, have like the certain things that they're now being essentially, you know, led to look into because of the fact that, you know, the content creator isn't willing to do it themselves. That's such a sad thing to think about, about like throughout the many, many years of content creation of just how many times there has been like people that have been just so deeply affected by this. And I don't know. I hope, I hope again that one day, one day it'll be better. Your sense of justice should not be something you need to use for strangers online. Yeah, exactly. Like, it, the publicity of so many things has been so unhealthy throughout the years. And it has been really, really sad to see. It's been really, it's been very, very heartbreaking to see as someone who, like, if I, like, God, like, let's say with, like, I don't know, like if, if I had like a childhood YouTuber that I used to watch or even like a child, like a YouTuber that I used to watch when I was like 15 or like 17 and everything. And I had such a connection to them to the point where I felt like I had to expose myself to things and people that I shouldn't have 
in order to defend them from something that that they are like not talking about I would have looked back now and I would have been like I shouldn't have been doing that I should have been enjoying my childhood I should have been enjoying my time as a kid and I should not have been so attached to a person to the point where the moment that something potentially happens with them I feel like it's the the end of the absolute world and that I can no longer find joy from these things. Like, it's, it's, I'm so happy that there are so many people that are not online and that simply watch me on YouTube or that simply watch me on Twitch and that's it. And then don't go anywhere else because I do not want anyone's time that they should be looking back on fondly to be affected again simply because of the fact of the way that other people are acting <laughs> you know it's 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 really heartbreaking it's really really heartbreaking to hear that people are more willing to just let things sort of die and fizzle out and have people constantly argue about them back and forth and back and forth than take responsibility then then to take responsibility for you know their 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 actions and what and what has happened because of their actions you know it's such a it's such a it's such a sad thing to see people use apps are create to send anonymous messages yep god damn that's the worst thing that you can do as a content creator and or as a person as well is is have something that allows people to say anything that they want with no repercussions because you will only you will only be getting awful things like a major like a very large amount of the time it's why i've turned off the anonymous asks, asks on tumblr and I highly recommend for people to stop putting themselves like I, I don't even know what the draw is because people will like talk to you because people will like interact with you and everything. No, all you're doing is giving for, 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 you know, people that want to speak out against like, you know, weird people and everything. All you're doing is giving a platform for those weird people to make their weirdness known and to say things without any repercussions. You know, people should not be allowed to say anything on the internet without any repercussions. That is genuinely one of the worst ideas ever when it comes to the internet. You know, and then like, it's such a, it's such a, blah, blah, ah. But yeah, I don't know. Again, I just, it's saddened me a lot to see the way that content creation has shifted, especially because of the last two years of it how competitive has been the way that P uh, fan bases are treated both by content creators and by other people in the fan base it's all oh, it's sad you know it's so sad that content creation used to be a place for creative people to be able to have an entry level to creativity and now it's a place where if you become you know successful in any way you will have to worry about every single little thing you say. And that doesn't mean that people should just be allowed to say anything with no repercussions, but people should be allowed to have opinions as long as they're not hurting anyone or establishing, you know, really bad things in children. God, I like, I... I, I don't know. Again, this is going to get into some like pretty serious stuff. I've decided. So if you don't, if you don't want to listen to that, maybe watch like a YouTube video of mine or something. I don't know. Um, but the fact that I have seen like the the way that people's views are so incredibly easily changed based on the people that they watch is scary. It is so scary. The fact that there are people on another platform that are just sitting by while people, again, 
on that on like that are featured on that same platform are saying these awful things and saying that oh yeah no it's okay for these you know literal children to come up to me and say that we hate women and that like you know trans people should die christ like i cannot like i i like it's so so sad to see and it's so sad to see i just realized there's a vtuber on during all this is which is going to make it so less serious but you know uh but it is so incredibly sad to see people idly like actively be supported from that and just kind of go i'm making money so who really cares You know, when the when the owners of a of a website are literally like when when someone is just being like genuinely like genuinely committing a crime, okay? Genuinely just committing an actual crime and the co-founder is in a chat like like laughing at it and and making fun of it and everything, and then people have the audacity to go into that place and then go, well, I can make money from this. So who really cares? The people that have the, the way that people have the audacity to even remotely go into those places and and support those people, because again, you are supporting those people, no matter how much you try to spin it. At the end of the day, you are supporting those people that are saying and doing those things by advertising them and by accepting their money. You are doing that. You are doing that. Even though you you may try to, you know, either you're telling it to other people, you're telling it to yourself so that you can so that you can sleep better at night and everything. Do please never put if you are if you are going to start content creation, never put your morals behind a paycheck. Never put your morality and and especially, you know, the people that support you, never throw them throw that away because of a paycheck for any reason. Because that it is so, so sad to see. It is so sad to hear as well that people are just like fine with this. You know, and they're just like, well, you know, like obviously, yeah, what they're doing is bad. But if they give me enough money, then I don't know, maybe it's not too bad. Or, you know, maybe I can, you know, do something about it. When, the, again, the co-founder is in a goddamn chat during an actual crime. That I need, I need, like, the, the background music. Again, this is such a weird thing to be doing while talking about this. And I know that I'm literally just playing a game in the background, but it's literally just helping me think. So that's why I'm, like, continuing to do this. But the fact that that's happening... And you're still willing to support that person in any goddamn way is so genuinely awful. That's 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 been such a weird thing about about that as well. Is that like the fact that like uh, you just please do not if you are thinking about going into content creation, do not put your morals behind a paycheck. Do not have a number for how much you're willing to support literal right-wing propaganda at certain points. If the faces of the goddamn site are saying all of these genuinely just awful and terrible things, and you're willing to look past that for any reason? Jesus Christ. Like, I do not fathom how someone that can claim to care about other people can turn around and do those things i do not understand it in any way it it, it, it again it breaks my heart it genuinely makes me so incredibly sad especially as someone who you know may genuinely be affected by a lot of this you know i know for a fact that i don't have the privilege of taking that check. You know, 
and there are so many countless other people that definitely have it way worse off than me even on this site that's the thing is that i am still even though i'm like i don't have like you know all that there are still so many people that are treated way worse and that don't have that opportunity that don't have that ability to even to even try to like you know make a living here simply because of the way that yes a lot of black content creators are treated on twitch and on youtube and everything and even just on the internet as a whole it's so awful to see. And then to see people that are just willing to basically look the reason why that is happening in the eye, which is, again, one of the, one, again, a, a huge reason why it is, ha why it's happening on the internet and everything is because of, you know, alt-right right-wingers on like stream platforms who have a huge platform that are making jokes about these things because it's fine, because they're jokes. Until, again, you have literal children that are genuinely saying these things because of the fact that they have seen so far past the joke they have seen into what you actually mean and they see into what you actually believe and they will take that they will emulate that they will emulate what you do they will emulate everything and actual lives are put in danger because of it and it is it is like i am i i'm so i'm so saddened by it i'm so saddened by it like the fact that so <laughs> you cannot claim to care and then turn around and support the exact thing that you claim to care like to that you claim to that's the thing because then it shows that the reason why you said those things wasn't because of the fact that you genuinely cared about them it's because of you were afraid of the negative effects that it would have if you didn't that's one of the that's one of the biggest things in content creation and everything and there is there are times where people will address things or people will say things not because they genuinely care not because they care at all it's because they're more afraid of what would happen to them and their career if they didn't and people will show their true colors when they have an opportunity when a when a large enough check is put in front of them, people will show their true colors. People will show their true views and the way that they the way that they actually act. Because you again, you cannot claim to care, and then turn around and just just take it, just basically, essentially, just take it all back. And that's that's why it's like it's it's I. Because I, I have a lot of problems wording things and everything, right? And I always try to ensure that not only am I saying the correct things in order to be able to have my point come across, but also that I'm learning from it. That's the thing, is that a lot of the time, content creator, quote-unquote, apologies can go two ways. One, or three, th uh, multiple ways. One, they genuinely care, have genuinely learned, and are genuinely trying to be a better person because of that, because they care about the people that are affected within their community. And then there's the people that care about what would happen if they lost those people. They become so afraid of what would happen if they lost the people that they're willing, they're willing to agree with anything. They're willing to agree with absolutely anything that you that the highest bidder is saying at a at, at certain time. They're, they're willing to, they're willing to basically go, okay, will this, you know, like prevent people from either like, like, you know, like leaving or this will prevent people for me from being less successful, then I'll do it rather than, hey, maybe I like, you know, shouldn't be saying all of these awful things to people. Or maybe I shouldn't be doing these awful things even subconsciously, because again, the way that people are raised genuinely does have a influence on their on their life and everything and people should be allowed the room to learn and everything 
Like there is so much that I have learned from the beginning of content creation to now that I was completely unaware of. Again, just because of the environment that I was that I was raised in, right? Because of because of the schools that I went to, because of because of everything, right? And I have learned so much, and I look back on the person that I was before all that, and I'm like Jesus Christ. I am so glad that I had the opportunity to learn and grow. But then, if people revert, and that just shows that they never really cared about it. They really only cared because, it again, it would make them the most money. It would make them the most popular. It would, it would like, that's the thing. You, you, you did not care to begin with if you're willing to sell what you're saying to the highest bidder. The change was surface level. Yeah, exactly. It wasn't, it wasn't an actual change. It was, you know, oh, okay, let's just, you know, quickly wrap it up apologize for this i'm good rather than oh maybe i should like listen maybe i should take the time to maybe i should actually learn from what these people are genuinely trying to tell me you know and like that's it's it's really again it's really sad to see it's really really sad to see i don't know i don't know Okay, sorry. Um, yeah, it's 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 hard, and that's why again you should not put your mental state so reliant on one person to the point where if they mess up, you still feel so attached to them that you're like, just like, oh well, I guess I still like, I guess I like still want to support them and everything simply because of like you know these certain things and all of that. Like, at the end of the day, like that person doesn't care about that person does not care about you as much as you care about them a lot of the time you know like it's it's again it's really sad i don't know it's just it's just such a it, it, it just yeah i was i yeah but hey I don't know. At the, at the end of the day, just remember to just remember to be kind and everything. Just remember to like constantly try to remember that like no one deserves any kind of like I'm trying I'm trying to think about this. No one really deserves like to have to like worry so incredibly much about how they act around other people to the point where like they're just becoming a fake version of so well that's the point that i was trying to make there it is no one should have to worry about becoming such a fake version of themselves and putting on such a facade that the person that they are in front of closed doors and behind closed doors are essentially two different people there it is there's there's the point that i was trying to make there it is hooray oh wrist brace um like and if like it's just again it's just so it's it's so sad to see that it's so sad to see how many like people that like that like i've like like throughout like my childhood and throughout my years and everything like that i have seen and i've respected so much and then have just immediately lost all of my respect because I have realized that the person that they were even just showing to me was not the person that they actually were. It was not, it was not the person that I thought they were. And that's that like, the, I've, I've like, there's been so many countless situations where I've had that happen. And again, this is why, this is why I heavily implore that you think if you want to join, if you want to join content creation or not, because of the way that everything is right now, it will be very, very challenging. It will be very, very taxing, especially if you do have situations where that happens. Right. And 
it's I don't know. It's it's really it's really just extremely disheartening. And I I don't know. I hope that one day, I don't maybe in the future content creation will return to what it should be, just a place for people to express themselves and express their journey. <gasps> oh, she made a book. Oh, Sorry, I just I just saw that. That's so sweet. She was able to make a book with her characters. Oh. Um but yeah. No, I don't know. And again, I'm not trying to speak like I'm the most morally above person. At the end of the day, I really want you guys to remember this. I am not trying to speak like what 100% of what I'm saying is correct. What I'm saying is law. What I'm saying is like word and everything because with any content creator, you should be willing to sort of all, oh, you should be willing to question it and be like, okay, you, you should be willing to form your own opinions. If your opinion doesn't match the opinion of a content creator, then maybe you have to think about that. Okay, and I'm not, again, I'm not, this entire like giant rant that I had was not trying to make me seem like, oh, I am a morally good content creator all the time because I don't know if I am. I don't I don't know if I am. I hope I hope that I am. I very much hope so. But there may be things that I'm even doing right now that I genuinely do not know could be potentially harmful until later on down the line, until I make a mistake and, and learn from it and grow. All right, but there have just been so many things that I have seen and using the experiences of what I have learned from have been able to question it and go, is this really how you should handle this type of thing? And think about that. And the conclusion that I've come to is, no. <laughs> the conclusion that I've come to is absolutely not. Which is why I'm trying to again say the things that I'm saying in a way of like, you guys gotta be careful. You know, at the end of the day, you guys just gotta be so, so careful with who you put your time into with who you quote unquote idolize for who you, you know, like the trust. That's the thing is though, is that you should not a hundred percent trust a content creator. I'm going to be real. Not even like, again, not me. Definitely not me. Oh, it's the achievement. We're going to put it right there. Definitely not me. All right. You should, you should not be so blindly trusting to the point where you're like oh well you know maybe there maybe like oh maybe like this is just you know maybe there's like you know another reason or like you're trying to like come up with so many different excuses for them before they even say anything to the point where you've already made up your mind and it, you know things don't even need to be addressed which should not be the case i believe again i believe that every content creator has a responsibility to ensure that their essentially not well, essentially reputation reflects what they want it to reflect and it should not be the duty of the um it should not be the duty of the fan base to do that it should never be the duty of the fan base to defend or to do or, or to like like explain or try to do anything for a content creator if they are not willing to put that time in and do it themselves. Oh, dirt doesn't go here. That's crazy. Because essentially, what that is is that's just that's just if if like because that's the thing is that I will never become reliant on. Oh, wait, this goes in the wrong room. Um, I will never become reliant on a fan base to protect me from anything and that is because again creators have the responsibility to do that creators have such a huge response what the blocks don't get here oh they go on the floor don't they yeah they do um like the content creators have such a huge responsibility to ensure that all right and to properly address and to properly talk about things with the people that trust them because what you're what you're doing is by like doing that you're just basically saying like yeah you know i'm just the you know 
things things will come out right in the end i don't really have to say anything and then we're just gonna have i'm just gonna you know put the potential mental health of you know young adults and or teenagers at risk because they are constantly feeling like they need to defend me and get into arguments to the point where now like ugh, there's still a bag of dirt i don't know what to do with the bag of dirt i don't know what to do with the bag of dirt there there goes the bag of dirt um but yeah it's it's uh yeah I've, I've i've i'm kind of like cycling around the same points now which is kind of my showing of like okay maybe i've maybe i've made all the points that i want to make but i just really wanted to lay in that one of like i don't know i just i just extremely what this doesn't go here where does this go what where does this go um i don't know i'm just i'm just i'm just really hoping that you guys you know take that to heart and think about it and if you're in a situation where this stuff is where some of the stuff that i've said you go i do that maybe take some time for self-reflection is it really worth putting your mental health at risk to defend someone that really would potentially if with a big enough with a big enough cash grab turn their back and just kind of not even remotely and just kind of betray that betray that feeling that's 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 my thoughts on it on everything honestly that's been that's happened to me throughout my content creation journey that's that i've seen happen to other people throughout their content creation journeys like i don't know i just really hope that again also the people that may be potentially doing the things that i'm talking about you know kind of wake up and realize have i really had a good effect you know have i really had a good effect on the internet or have i accidentally created something that i can't get out of you know and that's 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 what also i feel it's very easy to feel trapped it's this is okay this i swear to god this is my last point i'm so sorry for just talking like this the entire time but i'm like I, my brain's just kind of going off right now i don't know what the hell this is it was there um but it's like what was i just talking about god damn it i lost it i lost the point i lost the point one okay what was i talking about like just now <laughs> I lost, I lost it. Very, yep, people feeling trapped. There it is. It is extremely easy, all right, by, you know, sort of like creating, curating your fan base to as soon as it becomes successful, in a way you start to feel trapped and you feel like you cannot get out of it because of the fact of it's just like, you're just like, oh, that's just how people act. I can't really change it. You can. You so can. You have the power to. And if you are worried about the potential effects, again, I was guilty of this. If you are more worried about the potential effects that it will have on your career than the people that are currently genuinely being hurt because of it, then I do not believe that you deserve to have the platform that you have. Because at the end of the day, why did you really start it then? Why did you really start doing the things that you did? Is it because of... I don't know where to put this thing in. Kane. Um, is it because of the fact that you wanted, you know, to make creative content? Or is it because of the fact that, you know, you wanted money, you wanted success? And that's okay. That's the thing, is that it's okay to want money and success from content creation. There it is. I did it. It's okay to want money and success from content creation at the end of the day. That's okay. If that's your reason, sure. You know, as long as you're enjoying it, sure. But if it's at the cost of put like the potential such huge negative side effects for the people that are helping you create and make that money, then then again, you do not deserve to have the platform that you have at the end of the day. And again, I know a lot of the things that I may have said may have been 
hypocritical based on how I've acted in the past or how, how I'm even probably going to act in the future. All right. I'm never going to claim to be of moral superiority in any way. All right. I will make mistakes. I will continue to make mistakes. And I expect, you know, I expect people to, you know, go, oh, when that happens, I don't know. Like, I, I, I expect people to not view it as I have failed them in a way, but rather, you know, I'm still learning. All right, I'm still growing. I started this job when I was 16 years old. I had no idea how, what the hell of like uh, what I didn't even know that there were Twitter fan bases. All right, I didn't even know that there were that there was like active and inactive fan bases and all of this stuff that I've learned throughout the years. And there are things that I've maybe been like, okay, maybe this will work. And then I've had no idea. And then it didn't work. And it was actually really, really bad. And I had no clue. I just wanted to make really silly videos. Well, we found out. <laughs> I genuinely, I genuinely had no idea. And it, I'm so sorry. No, that's not a sorry thing. It's more of a thing of like, I'm still, no, no matter how much I say that like, oh, maybe I'm not the person I was before. Like I still am at the end of the day in a lot of ways. A lot of parts of me have changed. And a lot of parts of me are going to continue to change. Sure as hell. But I want you guys, I don't know. I want, like, I want to be able to learn and grow and show you guys that that's okay that content creators are not perfect people all the time Content creators don't have to be perfect all the people all the time they just really have to be good and sadly for a lot of people that's too hard to handle for a lot of people that's too low of a bar to even hit sometimes people love to feed off of controversy and love to create things that'll purposely upset people just so that they will have the reaction of their fans going, oh, wow, like, I, oh, they, like, oh, that's like time to defend. Like, no, that should not be happening. It should not be happening at all. God. Controversy for clicks is the worst thing that has happened to, con to content creation. And people that have used that in order to spin narratives to try to get people to be quote unquote on their side more to the point where they have an unhealthy relationship to them do not have my respect at all. All right, you guys don't need to. Okay, you guys don't at the end of the day, you guys don't need to defend me. You guys do not need to, you know, like do anything, all right? You guys can just enjoy my content, make silly posts, make clips, the clips channel stuff, do that. Put your energy into something creative, all right? Okay? Because I want you guys to enjoy the time you have watching me while you're watching me. All right, I want you guys to look back on the content that I have made and the things that I have done and view them as something good. That's that's all that I want, all right? Because I had that escape. I had that escape as a kid where I was able to, just for, you know, a beautiful 14 minute Corey Kenshin video, was able to not think about everything that was stressing me out in my personal life just for a little bit. And if I'm able to provide that, even just a fraction of that feeling, then that's that's what I want to continue to do. And seeing people purposely do the exact opposite for monetary gain, that is disgusting. It's disgusting. And I said this all while playing a game about unpacking. Hell yeah. <laughs> Christ. <laughs> Best way to have serious conversations, folks. Just to lure them in with, you know, uh, lure them in with, uh, with video game. No, I'm kidding. And there we go. There we are. And we did it. All right, well, that'll be the stream. Uh, sorry it took such a turn. 
I was just going to be silly this time, and I also accidentally streamed through a meeting because I really wanted it to. I really wanted to make this point, and I felt like it was important. So, whoops, my bad. Um, I will see you guys, um, probably tomorrow. Again, hope you guys have a fun time. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Please do not forget what I said. All right. Please, and again, I've I've spoken so much. Just be kind to people. Don't be don't be petty or like just anything. Just treat people with kindness. It's so easy once you get into it, and you will find that you are so much happier because of it. All right. All right. All right. We're ending. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys mean a lot to me. I hope that you guys are all doing well. But again, you don't know me, I don't know you, and that's how we're gonna keep it. Keep boobing. All right? I will see you guys tomorrow. I hope that you guys are doing well. I hope that what I said was understandable at least, and I'm very sorry if any of it was worded very incorrectly. Um, yeah, I don't know. Thank you for the, thank you for the tier one. Posting over, thank you. I wonder what you're gonna do. Thank you guys. Hope you guys have a great day today. I'll see you guys. Bye. 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 I'll see you guys. Bye. -bye.